Yo, what's up, podcast people? Nothing but Action Podcast, episode 28. Back at it again with another podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about the first round of the playoffs for each every for each series. Every series. And, uh, yeah, should we just write, should we just get into it? Let's just make this quick, man. Yes, sir. Let's get yeah. straight into these frauds. Yeah. yeah. Let's start off, let's, let's let's start start off, off with the, 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 the series that's already over uh, when recording this. <laughs> The only series that's over officially, the Milwaukee uh, but, Bucks and the Miami Heat. Mm-hmm. The Bucks swept the Heat in four games, and besides Game One, all of them were blowouts. <laughs> so, what are y'all thoughts on that? Mm. Mm. Let go, Bells go first. Mm. One of my teams, bro. Let me go first, bro. If I ever. You're Jimmy Butler and Chris Middleton in the same sense. Mm. You're getting blocked. I'm sorry, bro. I'm talk to them. I, talk I have to. to I have to say it, bro. I have to. Jimmy if Butler Jimmy Chris Butler Chris, yeah. was on the Bucks, bro, I'm not even sure if he'd be a rotation player, bro. Because <laughs> he's yeah. he so unskilled, bro. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm <laughs> here, bro. no, no skill. Bag. No, nah, school, I don't, no I don't know what's happened to him. That, that nigga having that, that Westbrook decrease, nigga. No care. Nah, no, this, like, this, no, this, this is, is not even bad. Bad. Westbrook's never been this, this bad, bad, bro. He's Dude, never shot this This is not that bro. shocking, bro. I'm telling you, it's not that shocking. I'm a, yeah. You know, I gave I gave the Heat six games. I did too. I, I gave I gave them I gave them at least twos and six games. You know what I mean? I thought they were gonna lose in six games. I was like, Gene Butler's gonna, you know. No way. A 22 point per game score can be like that bad, you know what I mean? Yeah, Giannis, Giannis, for all he's good at on defense, right? One of the worst screen navigators in the league, exactly. Yeah, he can't, true, no. right? Yeah, he's too big, he doesn't know how to get skinny. Jimmy <laughs> Butler, and, and this thing, Giannis continued to go over Jimmy Butler's screams <laughs> in the entire series. And Jimmy Butler still couldn't capitalize. I don't want to hear anything about this man ever again, yo. He's a fraud. I don't care what he says, right? He doesn't have a bag. And Nothing. Yo, yo. No, he does have a bag. It's called the referees. Duh. Fact, hey, bro, you be paying the refs. The, the referees. The rest, That's what he said. He, he, he can't calls from the refs, bro. But but I'm I'm like him because because Bam right for me Bam Bam underperformed he played better than Jimmy in my opinion but he underperformed right I'm not gonna sit there and lie he's also a young player he can get better you know what I mean I'm not worried about Bam Jimmy but like if I'm the Heat like what do I do after this you know what I mean but anyways get out of they here have, they have they have they have cat space so <laughs> but like. Uh. I never. I'm just gonna get into the Bucks, bro. Cause I don't want to talk about that garbage franchise again. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Um, whoa, 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 chill. whoa. Wait, we are, we are fan. not, we are chill not out. going, we are not going to give the Cracker Boys a pass, bro. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, man. Slunk, bro, Slunkin yo, Robinson yo. and Tyler <laughs> Trash Hero. You are not getting hey, hey, a hey, pass, man. bro. Because hey, man, I thought the Cracker Boys was actually decent this series. You said hero. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to be bad when you, all you have to do is come off screens and all game. Duncan Robinson is the offense, bro. Duncan <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he was legit the best offensive player at one point. He's, he literally is the offense. Exactly. He's <laughs> he, he, was, he was he was running around screens like Steph Curry. Bro. He's the only one that <laughs> tried it, Lily. Back, He's the only one the other team actually guards. So no, yeah, no cap, yeah, bro. But like them, them two boys right there are more valuable than James Harden. So I expected them to go out there and show me something. Apparently, like, apparently yeah. they're more valuable than James Harden, bro. It, it, it's so sad, but so like you love to see it, yo. This is yo. This is how you rebuild. Room, this, this, this is how, is how you rebuild. rebuild. No, but like Tyler Hero, bro. I'm just thinking about the Heat, bro. Like, yeah, they're pretty decent talent evaluators, but if you look at Tyler Hero, right, what exactly does this man do at a consistent level? Like, <laughs> we talk about his shooting, right? He's not really that good of a shooter. This season, you say, oh, but he shot 36 and 73. That was because probably the last eight games of the, uh, the last eight games of the playoffs, right? 
he had the the last eight games in the regular season, which he was like shooting from like crazy from three. But before that, the man shot. The man was not good at shooting at all. Actually, like he shot thirty three percent from three for the rest of the season. And like, okay, then he's not good at that. What else is he good at? Shot creation, not good. You know what I mean? Can't do anything without a screen at all. Like he, he's not that good of a player. He's simply just not that good. Can't defend. Not that good of a passer. Like, and and, and they didn't want to trade that dude because they were too busy. They, they didn't want him, bro. They, they, they wanted uh they wanted to keep him over James Harden. You know, not even just that, over Kyle Lowry. And Kyle Lowry said wherever he goes, he would have signed, right? But you know, they, they decided. You know, they're they're gonna uh. They're basically going to keep him, and they take his value because who's going to want him now? Yeah. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Quickly, the the thing about that though, with Kyle Lowry, you can you might be able to get him a free agency though, so I can understand that. Yeah, I'm not trading it's a lot for Kyle Lowry. Bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not trading Tyler here. I'm not, for Kyle I'm not Lowry, trading okay. Kyle, for Kyle Lowry, bro. Because <laughs> Lowry, because if, if if he got that kind of value in, in the I'm doing circles. It is if that man has James Harden value, bro, well, probably not anymore. You know, because I do think the team changes if they get Kyle Lowry in the off season. Like, because you don't have to give Kyle Lowry a max contract. So yeah, you bro. Get Kyle and, Lowry, and, yeah, and you're and you're and you're gonna get Victor Oladipo for free. You're gonna get that nigga on a yeah. So, you know, he yeah. one day one day he might be good bro. or he might be injured. But either way, he's trying to he fans trying to tell me Oladipo would have made a difference. Hell, Yo, get the no fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Bro, y'all yeah, have all of Depot doesn't, re- all Depot doesn't change the fact that they're all of Depot. Prime all of Depot, yeah. Yeah, prime all of Depot. Yeah, all of Depot doesn't change the fact that Jimmy has no bag, bro. They put, hey, yeah, they put Giannis has, on him. All of Depot has a deeper so, bag than Jimmy. Do y'all think the Heat no, franchise is stingy with Depot. their young players? I think I think they'd be kind of stingy sometimes, but... I mean, it, this yeah. is I, like, I just think that they overrated how good Tyler Hero was and Duncan Robinson. And they put, I, I know, like, they put too much pieces. pressure on that white boy. They had they, <laughs> there were other pieces in the trade. Like I know they had Precious Achua also and some picks, but like Precious Achua, like at the end of the day, none of those guys are ever going to be as good as James Harden. And James Harden, at the end of the day, Jimmy Butler being guarded by Giannis, like think about it, it would have been James Harden taking the ball up the court instead. And Jimmy Butler could have been found on off-ball cuts and shit. And Bam could have caught some lobs, been athletic like Capella. It literally would have been what Harden did with Capella on steroids, you know. And they would have had, you know, Goran Dragic still. So they would have had somebody that could still shoot, you know. Like, they still would have had a nice team and been well-balanced because you have defensive Facts. pieces and offensive pieces, like, I you, just don't understand. You, you like, it to me. It, it's so stupid that they actually blew that opportunity all because they wanted to keep Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson, bro. You, you want me now, to be honest with you, bro? Like, 100% honest? And this is no offense, bro. James Harden is a great player, but I still think they would have lost the series even if they had James Harden. And the reason why I say that is because... I don't know, with, man. The Heat's biggest problem that entire series was their lack of size. It had nothing to do with, I mean, the scoring was a problem. Yes, true, right? But also, they couldn't grab a rebound. They couldn't grab any rebounds. You know what I mean? Harden's a solid rebounder at the guard spot, but he's not. He's not making Trevor Reeves a good rebounder. They had, they had nobody that can guard Brook Lopez whatsoever. You know what I mean? Like. Those were the two that was dominating in the paint. And no, no cap. Sorry to cut you out. Did Iggy even play in that series, bro? He did. Yeah, he, he just did. unnoticed. <laughs> yeah, I'm God, I got I him. didn't even watch the last two games. Once the niggas went up 20, I turned that bitch off. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see I see that nigga you down his ass and touch the court. I like, oh, man. Every time I <laughs> I don't remember I don't think he ever played. I don't remember like stinking it up. So Wait, who Iggy? played? Which who'd you ask? Iggy. No, Iggy played. No, Iggy though. played. Iggy played. Ah, no, I Iggy totally played. forgot that nigga. Iggy guarded things. Giannis a couple of possessions. Yeah, he did. Like they did a great, they did a good job guarding Giannis. It was just like they couldn't rebound. You know what I mean? Like 
the rebounds is the issue, and and yeah, and also, Giannis has gotten way better. I don't mean to interrupt you. My bad. But Giannis has gotten way better as a playmaker, bro. Like he's gotten used to seeing the double teams and seeing the. Uh, um, the boxes. I mean, bro, they can't, they can't he really... actually, uh, has he actually trust them niggas? When you got Eric Bledsoe on a three point line, he's like, "Fuck that, I'm doing it myself, bro." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna throw up a contested <laughs> layup. He's like, "Yo, right. f that shit, man." I'm and going Drew, Drew <laughs> and Drew Holiday, man, shout out to him. You know, I didn't really look like in the beginning of the year. I didn't really trust the Bucks like big three because I was like, man, you know, Middleton's not really Middleton's not oh, elite. Man. Middleton, like, he's not all that, bro. Middleton's not elite. And then Drew, Drew's good, but he's not really like a elite point guard or nothing. So I was like, Giannis really needs that guy. But I think Drew and Chris together are enough for Giannis. A now, Dante, they're not, enough for a championship. Not lie. Yeah, it's enough to help to get him a championship. And and not going to lie, Dante, it's tough news to hear that he's not going to be a part of this playoff run, though. But they don't – it doesn't change – anything too much i would say because now Brent forbes is going to get minutes and if he's making his shots you know what's crazy you know what's crazy bro earlier in this season i sw- i swear to god go bells was calling this man Brent Forbes from calling from Brent forbes head i swear to god he was bro. oh because i was like okay bro yeah you can shoot but like i was never i've never been a fan of Brent forbes you know like even uh, he, he was, was calling he was calling for his head bro hey bro, that bro, man outplayed jimmy dude, butler bro Dude, dude, legit. Like outside of shooting, I was like, "What does he do consistently?" Bro, the man, the man it literally was... ended a game in the first quarter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like he end, he like... ended game two in the first quarter. <laughs> like, yo, he turned yo. He been Steph Curry to play. He's been amazing. But like, there was one stretch in the season. You know, Drew was out. He had COVID, and Brent Forbes was starting for a bit. And Brent Forbes was like, he was, he's a he's a point guard, but he's not really a point guard. You know what I mean? Like, he's a dude that you know. Can't really pass. He runs off of screens. Like, you know, he can handle a bit, but he's not going to run your offense, you know? And he was just thinking it up. He was terrible defensively. He wasn't making shots. And I was just like, bro, like, really? Like, like he's just so bad. And, like, I, I wasn't really much of a fan of him. You know what I mean? Nah, but, like, man. Brent Forbes did his thing, man. Well, later in the season, later in the season, um, he started to get better. You know what I mean? And uh, you know when he's not when he doesn't have the pressure of being a starter, it's a lot better for him. And when he has other players like like Drew Holiday playmaker for him as well, bro, like it's a completely different story. He was amazing this year, and he did outplay Jimmy Butler, that known loser. You know what I mean? So shot. Um, I remember people were. To me, I think Brent Forbes is What'd you say? My bad. Yeah. I'm good. I was, man. Saying, I was just saying like. Um, let me just say this about the Heat. Um, honestly, man, like, it's not over. It's not over. Like, a lot of people are acting like it's over for the Heat. And I'll say this, you know, I this think series they're in is different. Right now. Bro, yeah, bro. Yeah. As long as the Bucks, Nets, and Sixers is in that pitch. The top. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. that, they're never going to. Yeah, even I, though, how, how, can they, didn't, how can I they didn't improve? Even That's see the them. question. Bro, I didn't it's even not, see them beating get the better, bro. They have space, bro. They have cap space. Okay, yeah, but what big, bro, uh, if if the Clippers make it out the first round, there's no big time free agents, like, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I still yeah. think. Next year, hey, I'm not gonna lie, next year free agency class, though? Hey, next year free agency class? Look who's, the best player, who's the best player for that class? I don't even know. 2022. I'm pretty sure Kyrie and Katie. Kyrie's not joining. Okay, nah, I, know, I know, not, I'm saying, I know, I know. Not, Kyrie, KD, I, I, just in just in terms of like we know what they're gonna resign, but like just in terms ter- of name, Kyrie, Kyrie well, KD, Westbrook, CP3. Of, I, don't think Kyrie, I don't know if Kyrie will um, resign to an NBA team. So. Kyrie's gonna retire like in the middle of the year. <laughs> but um, hey, hey Kyrie, hey, imagine Kyrie wins a ring and he's like, that was it for you, man. Didn't Kyrie uh, say <laughs> he wants to retire at like 35? Yeah, he wants yeah. to retire young. He's so. like 30 right now though, so. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. Maybe not even. Actually, like Jimmy Butler times. ironically said that too. Yeah, I think so. Jimmy Butler Jimmy needs to retire now, bro. <laughs> I knew Jimmy you were gonna say that. <laughs> when the series is over, he's like, Jimmy Butler's gonna be out of the league. So, hey, so Jimmy Butler peaked in the bubble. <laughs> yeah, he peaked in the yes. bubble. Yes, no, no, that's hundred percent facts, bro. Y'all, hey, y'all is niggas, Jimmy Butler. Y'all, let me ask y'all, I'll never Jimmy forget. Butler. Y'all niggas wanted to put Jimmy Butler as a top 
Well, top, I, ten, top, player, top, 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 top ten, I ten player, bro. Top ten player, bro. Top ten player, bro. Top ten player. I was one of those. I was one of those. I won't lie. I won't lie. I, I had the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hey, I but never it was you, that you, shit. at that time, bro. Like what he did in the playoffs, it was good. It was. It was kind of crazy. It was great, bro. You couldn't deny it. On his team. Hey, look, as a as a Floridian, it was great. Yeah, going dragon to us, bro. But. I know like Drogic, Drogic was carrying him in some games, though, no cap. Like, Drogic is the Hero. best player on the team the first three series. <laughs> like, now, now, now that I look back, I feel like we were just living in the moment of some of those Laker games, bro, honestly. Nah, I feel like – nah, I just feel like it's the the story that went with it. Like, every every game, every series had a little narrative that can give Jimmy the credit because, you know, it was Jimmy versus TJ Warren. Then it was – it was Jimmy, uh, Giannis being scared to guard Jimmy in the clutch. And then, I mean, I guess the Celtics, I mean, it, nigga, it was the role players that, like, it was Bam. Jimmy, Bam, it, yeah, it was, it was the role players. It was, it was Bam and that loser Tyler Hero, bro. Yeah, bro, okay. And, like, then, in the, and, the, and then in the Heat series, uh, Jimmy, the, the, the Heat series, I'll give Jimmy credit. That nigga wasn't trying to go home. I mean, I mean, the Lakers series. Lakers series. But the first two series, like, it was just a narrative that can give Jimmy the credit for what's going on. Mm, that's an interesting way to look at it. I didn't even think about it like like that. That's a but yeah, to me, yeah, the Bucks are the better team. Any, anybody else have anything to say about this series before we move on? Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 glad that the Bucks, the Bucks, Bucks bounce back. Jimmy Butler. Game by out. the way, everybody should be put on notice now. The Bucks are legit, bro. They could beat the Nets. I'm telling Man, you, I was the one Nets in five, Nets in five, Nets in five. It's, but it's I will not, say. What? If any of y'all are listening to this and, <laughs> Nets think, and five? think that we're Nets and five, if any of you oh, guys no, are man. listening to this and think that we we just starting to hate on Jimmy Butler for no reason, we have been calling this man a fraud all year. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> go mainly go bells. Head. Mainly go bells though. <laughs> all go year. Go bells. If y'all don't believe, y'all don't believe us, bro, Butler believe go bells. His third eye has been unlocked all season. Bro. We've been yeah. known Jimmy Butler has. I no knew bad. this moment was gonna happen, bro. I knew it. Once I saw I Giannis it. guarding him and going under all his screens, I was like, okay, yeah, this, this it's over, bro. The funny this, thing, this is a, this is another thing I want to talk about before we move on. Giannis didn't even shoot well in this season. He's actually played when it, when it comes to shooting wise, actually pretty ass for him so oh, yeah they, they still guarded him pretty well actually so. yeah they yeah. did guard him pretty well. Giannis, I think Giannis made one three out of like 20 attempts or something it felt like 20 attempts and then like he wasn't even like free throws especially no, game bad. one man Giannis almost sold him in game one luckily luckily Jimmy my Butler my has no bag and he airballed, he airballed the three in the overtime. <laughs> I, I, was, I was screaming in that room, bro. Because let, let, let Paul George airball a three. But you can't deny, though. Giannis still, three, oh Giannis still was able. Like you, hey, can't, you, have, you have to give Giannis credit for his playmaking. Man, I know you no, I'm, not, I'm not discrediting Giannis. I'm just like, he didn't really play that well. No, no I agree with well, that. Well, well, he played like an all-time defensive series for, for him at least. But I mean, it's not really like, hard to play that great defense when you're going against uh, the worst offensive playoff team. So but yeah, it might it might be Virginia. Worst Virginia. offensive player team, nigga. The Wizards but, exist, bro. Nah, I don't know, man. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know about that, bro. Uh, nah, at least Bradley uh, Beal has a bag. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're name one person on that team that has a bag, bro. Tyler Hero, bro. There was a video of him that came out in the offseason. <laughs> he was dribbling, and people were like, Look at his handles. He was dribbling, <laughs> and not going anywhere, bro. Uh, <laughs> I swear, bro. Hey, Ke- Kendrick like, Nunn. Kendrick, hold on. Kendrick Nunn has a bag. Bro. Hey, Kendrick Nunn, do okay, kind of Kendrick got a bag. Kendrick, Kendrick Nunn. Right, right, right. I'm not going to lie. Kendrick Nunn got a better bag than uh, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah. not going to lie. Hey Bam, I'm not gonna lie. For a big man, Bam got a bag. Hey, this is what this is what the Heat get for saying. This is some Heat fans were telling me, hero over Sexton, bro, last year. Bro, this is what they get. You know, you know what's crazy, bro? I literally remember. And look, I love Jimmy Butler, so please, people, do not th- think I'm some hater. But I remember co- when they signed Jimmy Butler. My initial reaction was, this is the this is like the Heat's plan. Jimmy Butler. Like I get it, Jimmy Butler's great, but like 
at that time, I was like, man, I don't know if he's worth a max. I don't know if he's a superstar, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, Jimmy was good in Chicago, you know? He was good in Minnesota, but, like, Jimmy wasn't, you know, as talented as other players. Jimmy's never been as talented as, like, nah, Jimmy, Ford. Nah, nah, Jimmy you know had my respect when he carried Benson into the second round, man. I mean, uh, they still had it. And, beat, and, man, and he, could, he, could shoot, he could shoot back then, so... But that was that team. He did. He did good. He, he did put them on the, their back, and he's a great playoff performer. Don't get me wrong, but like at that time, I just didn't look at that signing as like I didn't know where they were gonna go unless they were gonna get get somebody else. Because yeah, I yeah, I looked at I looked at it as you're getting the first piece and you're looking at another piece because well, yeah. once I once I once I seen how their cap was set up, I was like, all right, then this is yeah. a move to try and get, to a get free somebody agent. else. And then it turns out they ain't getting shit. Exactly, so. and then <laughs> the opportunity comes. James Harden is literally right there, and you have Bam coming off of his best year, and you don't pair them niggas up like Bam. And then, and then they're wa- they're watching the Bradley Beal situation, but the Wizards aren't exactly. trading him, and not the Wizards aren't not, trading him. So like, and, so like their whole plan, their whole plan was Bradley Beal or like someone like um, PG or Kawhi free agency, but PG signed an extension, like shit like that. Like so nothing is going their way. And not only that, but you let him go to a team to create a super team in your own conference, bro. Facts. And it's like ugh, they took massive L's, but nigga, no, uh, no doubt in my mind, they get swept by the Heat. I mean, the Nets. Fact. But uh, let's move on to the next series: the Lakers and, uh, and Suns. Oh, uh, the Sacred the next, dude. Anthony Davis yeah, is nice unlikely to play in Game Five, man. Suns yeah, is six. Exactly. If, uh, if Suns I will say this: man. if Anthony Davis is not playing or remain like a game for the remainder of the series, I, the Suns will easily win this. They should anyway. I don't think it's easy because the, the the Lakers. I still got LeBron a- James, but man, they they need AD for this series, bro. They do. That's yeah, a fact. AD, I do agree. AD's I do been agree dominating too, bro. AD has been dominating. Can't I mean, long. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, let me. I know this guy's not really too much of a big deal, but Kyle Kuzma is terrible, bro. Kyle Kuzma is playing awful right now, and uh, I don't know what's the problem. He's missing open jumpers, um, like open shots. Like they're not even guarding him at, at a certain point, and he's just missing shots. And it's I don't know what's going on with him. I just wanted to kind of get that out the way because I used to defend him throughout the regular season. And he's not making his shit. And a lot of the role players are not making their shots. KCP played bad. And even though he missed, I think he missed game four, right? Yeah. I'm not mistaken. But, you know, that's that. Alex Caruso is not making his shots. And a lot of these guys aren't consistent shooters. Like, outside of KCP, when he's good, like, Caruso's not a consistent shooter. Schroeder's not a consistent shooter. Who's, you know, who's guys. Too reliable, Kaku. <laughs> I never, nah, I never gotta, thought in my life that Kyle Kuzma would turn into Andre Roberson, bro, with like less defense. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with him, bro. Like, oh, LeBron, LeBron need to yell at LeBron need to yell in his face like he did KCP, bro. The thing is, LeBron's <laughs> not even playing great playoffs himself. Like, this is probably his worst playoffs ever, bro. I swear to God, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron be, LeBron be having like ten points through three quarters, bro. Like LeBron um, has to attempt more <laughs> shots, bro. I, I'm very no LeBron. Well, you, he's gonna, he's I, think he's gonna start, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care if he's coming off an injury. Come on, man. I think he's gonna tee up next game, bro. I think LeBron's gonna show. LeBron's got to take thirty game. shots next hey, game. Honestly, he said, bro. he said, he said, I have big shoulders. You're, you're LeBron. I mean, if that nigga LeBron, they asked LeBron if he gonna carry. He said, I have big shoulders. They so when that nigga, that, when that nigga comes out next game and don't part. do shit, I'm going to laugh, bro. I just want to say this, y'all. Y'all see how we're doubting LeBron right now? I am not doubting LeBron now. I'm, I'm, I just not doubting I LeBron. I'm just saying I you am. should take more I shots. Am. We're not, we're not you know what? Devin should. Booker needs this moment. Suns and six, man. That's my prediction. Yo, yo, shout, yo, out, shout out to D-Book, bro. Shout out to D-Book. Yo, yo, yo D-Book has been, yo. I, I can't blame him like the 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 uh, last two games outside of this one. You see if they're actually play though. But they were not. They were not guarding this. Uh, what's it called? They were. He's been shooting like cheeks, yo. Outside yo, bro, of game but game. he gets. Now nah, I'm not gonna lie. He's shooting like forty percent for the series, and I would say like that's bad. But the way they're guarding this man, dog. Yeah, bro, they're treating him like. <laughs> they're getting, that nigga getting Steph Curry to you, man. He don't even run around the court. 
<laughs> yo, they, yo, they treat him like uh, what's it called? Bro, they build the wall at the three point line. They were literally leaving Chris Paul wide open. Like I yeah, never thought, I true. never thought I would see that in my yeah, life. Yeah, Chris Paul was bro. not taking any shots whenever he got the ball. What one uh, left? Yeah, yeah when, I, when I when I seen Chris, when I seen Chris Paul. When I seen Chris Paul um, shoot a three in game, like shoot a three early on in the game in game on four, I knew they were gonna win the game. That's that's how I felt. Yeah, Chris Paul when he started going off, man, when getting his mid range bag and all that, saying he's back, I was like, Oh shit, it's over, man. It's tough. I think it's over. It's tough. I don't think it's over, but like Nah, you could just see his effect on the team, bro. You could see it, you know, with DeAndre Aiden. DeAndre Aiden didn't even have Did to be talk much about DeAndre a bit? Like that. I forgot, but oh, yeah. like, he's Let's, been yeah, easily the best in. player in this series. No question. Bro, is, is he not shooting like 90% from the field? I think it's like 80%. Yeah, I'm like, that's like 85, 86%. <laughs> I'm getting crazy, yo. He's been literally Shaquille O'Neal, bro, and it makes no sense. And, bro, like, we used to shit on him. I'm not going to lie. We used to shit on him, bro. I mean, his matchup is Andre Drummond, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't lie about that. That's pretty true. Andre Drummond is pretty shit. Can't cap. Uh, Andre, all right, see, no, nah, Andre Drummond has done his job. I don't want to hear that bullshit for the Lakers. Man. You know, yes, he had. Bro, let's give him credit. Bullshit. He has hey, done no, his he, job. He, he has for the Lakers, bro. Nah, bro. He's, uh, he's, uh, in the first two games, I was getting kind of worried because I felt like they were giving him a little too many touches in the paint, telling him to they score were. ball. Wait nah, I, was, I was like, all right, I don't know what you guys – I don't know. I hope this isn't y'all game plan going forward. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried. Because and for every for every good play where Andre Drummond will, like, body DeAndre Ayton and then score the ball, there's a play where he catches the ball and just throws it right out of bounds. So, <laughs> like, it off his feet for no he reason. dribbles it yeah. off his foot. Like, it's so A nigga bad. is uncoordinated, unskilled. Like just a bad offensive player, bro. Like I mean, bad I mean, was on his Kwame Brown shit, man. He's Drummond. Kwame yeah. Brown. Like I said, bro. If LeBron wins this year with Andre Drummond, he's definitely the goat. Come on now. <laughs> no, 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 bro. Imagine when they face the. Nets, I actually bro. Drummond's unplayable. If imagine that Drummond's unplayable, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I guess the Nets when they go small, bro. AD is oh, the he's only. AD is literally the only playable big. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Like AD, you better Sol- like if they make no. a final. Andre no, Drummond, bro. No. You put my, uh, yeah, exactly, bro. Montrez, no, 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 no. Montrez, no. yeah, no, hell no. They're not <laughs> hey, even playing. Hey, Montrez, we should no. be thinking about how they match up against the Bucks. Ma- Montrez is not even getting the fucking. Um, he's not even getting playing time. He's, he's not he's playing, out the rotation, yeah. bro. And yeah, I, I thought, I thought that was bad coaching. Because how no, was that bad coaching? No, no, no. How was it bad coaching? I thought. No, hold on. Listen, I thought it was bad coaching in Game Four. When DeAndre Ayton went to the bench and and AD wasn't playing, like AD was out, DeAndre Ayton went to the bench and Frank Kaminsky was on the court, nigga. But yo, I'm not gonna lie, no, no, Montrez, it, Montrez is eating that shit, bro. No cap. No, they needed it, offense. It, 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 their it, offense it, was fast. Uh, like, their uh, offense Frank was fast. At the time, floor, bro. Kaminsky can space. Bro, I swear Frank to God, Frank Kaminsky had not hit a three all series, bro. If he hit a three, I did not see that shit. I swear he's, he's not even taking any, and he barely played. But like exactly he at the floor. It, no, I'm just saying. Like the, at that point, good. look at that point, the Lakers' offense was stagnant, and the Suns were kind of getting in control of the game before LeBron took off in the fourth quarter. But at that point in the third quarter, that was the perfect time to put Montrez in the game, bro. And even Mark Jackson said that shit on the call. Like you need something, and DeAndre Ayton is not in the game. I, I still don't. Trey Tre just uh, get when two in the floor. He gets but then, the but then they start him. They, they start him like the first terrible, like three bro. minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah, he, and he then put him right back perfect, on the bench. His IQ he, on defense. He is, gives is you horrendous. a target. He's literally a target for everybody. Like there are times, yeah. even 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 plays where he's not even a the target. There, I, I've I've seen plays where he'll go up to block somebody that he doesn't even have to block, and then he's out of position to get the rebound. And then, like, it's just, like, stuff like that, small stuff like that. It doesn't even have to just be how he guards people. Like, he just makes defensive lapses, and it's just, like, his defensive IQ, it's just not good, bro. It's not good at all. Um, he looks hey, lost. Shout out, shout out to, to Mikel Bridges. My nigga, my nigga was older game. Shout out my nigga Cam Johnson, man. Been a fan. Yeah, you know, he, 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 hit, he hit shots, you know, I think at good times to give the Suns momentum. 
Jay Crowder mm-hmm. finally showed mm-hmm. up offensively. Oh, 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 <laughs> Shout out. Oh, yeah, before, before we move on to the next series, I want to talk about this Jay Crowder and LeBron shit. So I, I know I know y'all wouldn't have been watching the games. I know Govels has. We were watching the game together. Shit was getting disrespectful. <laughs> the, with the isolation. You like you look at it, bro. Like, oh, he's he talking about like, in game in game you know, three where he isolated right? him like four times in a row. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he, he, and he was laughing scored, at him. Like, he only scored once, and he was like turning the ball over while he was doing. Yeah, he was. I mean, <laughs> wasn't really much, but I mean, like, sheesh, yo, that was kind of disrespectful. I can't lie. And LeBron like doesn't the Lakers doesn't bench was like just going crazy over it too. I mean that one exactly. lap was pretty nice. That one. We're not afraid lip. of Jay Crowder, bro. We're not afraid of him. We I don't think Jay Crowder. We've been there. We've been there one of done the worst that. playoff like role players I've ever seen, bro. Except when it comes to playing hey, the Bucks. You know what I mean? He's like, making some shots that. every now and then, though. He's been making. Some shots. Except that because he only shot well in the Bucks series and no other series. He shot forty percent from three on ten attempts. <laughs> this man, Steph Curry. Uh, well, I got to go on a run real quick. Just, just real quick, bro, because this angers me, bro. The Lakers ran the same defensive scheme. Same defensive scheme last year as the Bucks did. Same thing. The difference, Jay Crowder wanted to make shots. <laughs> Jay Crowder missed in the Lakers series. That's the only difference. Literally the only difference. They put AD on Jay Crowder for a minute, and they said, bro, leave him. They left him open, and he shot 25% from three. Jay Carter like, right now on, is shooting man. 18% from three this series on seven attempts. So like, This dude is a brick, yo. Like Every time I want him to win, every time I want him <laughs> to do something, bro, he, he decides to miss. When I want him to miss shots, bro, he turns into Stephen Curry, bro. It's crazy. I'm, I'm like, that, Bucks, that Bucks series literally got him paid because I'm not even going to lie. Didn't y'all see the uh, – hear about – he had, like, 30 different teams, or not 30, he had like 20 different teams or something give him a contract. Yeah. Like, he that's really, he's going to get that anyways. Yeah. People like yeah. Carter. No, no, he has the intangibles. He's a great teammate, you know, but it's like, on offense, he's overrated. He's not that great of a shooter as people think, bro. Like, people just think he's like a walking three, and it's like, no, he's a walking brick. That's what he is. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't get it, how people don't understand that. I mean, but, that's, you know. that's more of an argument for Cam Johnson than Jay Crowder. Cam Johnson mm. is actually like a fake shooter, bro. No, oh, don't ever disrespect uh, no, no, my no, man no, Cam no, Johnson no, like that no, ever no, again, bro. That you're not a Cam Johnson fan, Darius? I didn't say that. I just think he's a bit like, he's just not, he hasn't been shooting well this year, so. Cam, Cam Johnson is a Fugazi shooter, bro, but not as Fugazi as, as as Jay Crowder. But Jay Crowder, bro, oh man. Like, I, no. think, I, th- I don't think people think Jay Crowder is like a good three-point shooter like that like when mostly said like i think there's more argument for cam johnson being a more overrated three-point shooter than jay crowder but 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 like the thing people guard jay crowder in the regular season and then they don't guard him in the playoffs cam johnson is always guarded no matter what like people have known he had the straps since college you know yeah so it's like and it's not even he's shooting 35 percent from three this this series compared to jay crowder yeah, who like johnson. Yeah, Cam Johnson. Compared to Jay Crowder, who just always falls off and forgets how to play <laughs> basketball during the playoffs, you know? So, what a garbage game, man. Jesus Christ. Exactly. But, uh, let's move on to the next series. Actually, no. We have to talk about the Lakers and the injury to AD. Um, yeah, bro. Suns in six. I have uh, Lakers in that- seven, but if AD doesn't play, bro, I think I might switch that up. I'm not gonna lie. If it goes seven games, I got the Lakers. Yeah, no. If it goes seven, <laughs> LeBron, there's no way LeBron's losing LeBron. this shit. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> um, oh but, man, we I don't get know, game man. seven, Bron in the first round, we're blessed. And then game seven, CP3. We're, we're, we're blessed. And if we get what? a game, game seven, LeBron, CP3, I'm not gonna lie. If LeBron game seven, CP3 ain't do shit last year. Fuck game I seven, CP3. You should have triple double, triple double. I think if LeBron has and to go then to they won in the clutch. Series, I think if LeBron has to go to a seven game mm-hmm. series in the first round, bro, I think we're gonna see some uh, some great shit in the playoffs from LeBron because then then he's gonna be in a fresh goat mode for uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, them niggas the gonna, gonna get they feasted. gonna they gonna fuck up the Nuggets, no cap. Oh, it's the Nuggets they face or the cl- oh, okay, it's, it's yeah, the it's Nuggets, Nuggets, Nuggets or Blazers. Yeah. Let me not, let me cannot, let me not count out Damian Lillard. Yo, I'm, no, no, we count, we counting out Dan. We counting out Dan. Bro. I don't know. That last game, that last game was rough. We're not, we're not there yet, though. We're not there yet. Though. Yeah, we're not, we're not at that part yet. So we're gonna do okay, the yeah, next sure. series. We're doing Knicks and Hawks. Mm. Ice tray. Ice tray. Julius Randle, another man with no bag. Let's just start off with that. Let's start off with the Knicks. I got this, bro. I got this. Let me start off with the Knicks. The Knicks, look, I gave the Knicks their credit when they made the playoffs. Shout out to them. Congratulations. But y'all look like garbage. Their offense is terrible. It's nothing but isolation ball. They'll try to set a screen that nobody respects on the defensive end. So screens are useless in this offense. And then it's just ISO with Derrick Rose or Julius Randle. Occasionally, Alec Burks will do something. And it's crazy because Julius Randle, he had a great regular season. And then the playoffs comes and he just can't do anything anymore. Maybe he was only doing that because there was no fans. You know, I'm just saying I'm going to throw that option out there. But in the case of Julius Randle, let's just keep it a buck here, right? Alec Burks played well in game one. He even gave you 25 points, and Julius Randle gave you nothing. Derrick Rose even showed up in game one. Derrick Rose has showed up in all the games, all the games. And Julius Randle can't help him at all. I think he scored like 22, 23 points in the last game in game four. But he took like 20 shots. The guy is inefficient as hell. Can't buy a bucket at the basket. Can't buy a bucket from three. Can't buy mid-range. Nothing. The guy is just just forgot how to play basketball. He's playing for the other team at this point. He's playing for the Bro. Hawks. Yeah, the man playing. has a 56. I think I think he before last game he had a 56 or yeah, he had a 46 true shooting percentage, and now I think it's a 56. Uh. Oh, wait, the, 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 man, the man, Ben Cheeks, dog. Straight. Yo, he's fully as random, bro. He's fully in the league. You're fully as random. The guy's shooting 27% from the field. 27%, bro. And RJ, RJ, you ain't slick too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass, dog. You it's his, shit it's his sophomore season and his first. Come on, man. no, bro, I don't care, bro. No, I ain't gonna lie. This is both of them. DeAndre, bro, DeAndre, series, bro. DeAndre Hunter is single handedly boxing both of them. I won't lie. DeAndre, it, it, Hunter, is okay. better. DeAndre Hunter is better than uh, RJ. I will say. Okay, okay, give. Give 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 John give my man John Collins some credit because John Collins has hey, he, yeah, my boy hey, my boy he's he like Julius Randle he's getting Julius Randle head man no cap yeah he's, he's been doing bro, a great even, job bro, even Gallinari getting stops on you Julius Randle you should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself nigga I mean Gallo's <laughs> not in a bad Gallo's not an isolation defender though like he's not he's actually I pretty mean, good at guarding I mean, yeah, but, but I but I'm look serious. okay here's here's what I will say on the side of. Julius Randle, that man has all the defensive attention because they know that no one on the Knicks is a shooter, dog. <laughs> They're all D-Rose, fake D-Rose. shooters, bro. Yo, Mustard, what do you think about D Rose this series? Oh yeah, shout out, shout out. Yeah, you must have been like uh, crying. You must have been crying. Look, I have, I have loved what I've seen from Derrick Rose, and honestly, I just am glad that he's playing well because I have to take away, I have to take away something positive from this. And the only thing positive is I hope teams are seeing Derrick Rose and I hope a contender wants to pick him up, you know, next year. Because that's why he went to the Knicks. He's going to show that he, uh, he, he, he gonna, he gonna be right back in New York. He, he's not leaving Tibbs, bro. He's not leaving Tibbs, bro. He's not leaving. <laughs> I, I know, bro. But I, I want him to – I just want him to do something that's going to actually add something to his career, you know? Well, I'm just maybe, saying. I don't... Like you keep saying, if Kawhi leaves in free agency, he'll join hey, the yes. Knicks. And then I mean, if the Kawhi Rose would be able to change the team. Yeah, if Kawhi were to go to the Knicks, I'm I'm down with that, you know. I'm always down with that. The only issue is, though, I think Kawhi should get – they need a playmaker, you know, because if they were to get Kawhi, I, I want them to get another playmaker because – Derrick Rose and Joe Serrano, I think they're the, – them too. think they're enough? I think they're enough. I think they're enough. Like, there's playmakers. I mean, Julius Derrick Randall. Rose. Dude, Joe Serrano has been – he's – been a pretty good. Do they have enough for a max? They just have enough for one max player, right? Because if they have I, I enough, actually they don't can, know. They Wait, are you talking about the Knicks? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, can yeah, clear yeah. Space. No, no, no. I think, clear. I think they can make it. I think they can create two max spots. 
Because I was going to do say if they can make space, try to get Kyle Lowry also. Not gonna lie. No, no, yeah. There, there was Kyle Lowry reports, and obviously Kawhi. That you know they're gonna watch the Kawhi situation. Um, yeah, I definitely yeah. think that's something they should consider. And they got, even if they get Kawhi, you finna have Kawhi out there with no spacing. Y'all need to sign some real shooters, dog. <laughs> no cap, bro. I want to go back I mean, to Alex Burks. So there, Alex Burks is there. Alex Burks is a nice shooter. Um, oh, yeah. but that's really all they got. <laughs> Julius Randle can shoot, kind of. You know, RJ Barrett shot well this year, and even though he was such an inconsistent shooter, he he had stretches where he was just really bad. Stretches. No, he had that one. He had a bad stretch at the beginning of the season, but that was it, really. Like, uh, he's been really good, but and Reggie Bullock not, too. Yeah, you still have Reggie Bullock. Yo, I got a couple things to say real quick, bro. First off, RJ Barrett. I know he's been bad this series. He hasn't been really that good besides the last game, but. I got to get on Tibbs, and I feel like I know R.J. Barrett isn't the best, like, shot creator, right? Wait, wow, but, wait, Jason, did I hear you correctly? Are you going to roast the coach? <laughs> yes, I am, bro, for the first time, bro. Wow, but, the coach apologist. The coach apologist. Go ahead. Crazy. R.J. RJ Barrett, bro, like, they got – he has to use R.J. more. R.J. Barrett has just been sitting in the right corner the entire series. And I feel like he should get RJ in a bit more action. You know what I mean? Instead of just standing in the corner the entire time. Like, that's kind of, like, that, that's kind of unacceptable, you know? Like, that's why he's been so bad. He hasn't been good. He hasn't even been able to find a rhythm. He's just sitting in the corner with his hands on his knees, you know? And it's like, do you really want to do that for a guy that's up and coming? You know what I mean? Get him get him some action. Get him some, like, get him, get him coming off a double stagger screen or... Get him coming off of some post ups, you know. Have him play make out the post. Switch him and Julius Randle. You know what I mean? Like, you can do that, and I believe you can. Like, they they just they got to do better, man. That's just my opinion. But and also Reggie Bullock, bro. Yeah. Uh, oh man, <laughs> Reggie Bullock came out talking to me. We want bro. all that smoke, man. Yo, Reggie Bullock, bro. He wanted to go back to the A just to put up zero points, yo. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man messed up a two-on-one fast break, bro. I was dying. He jumped in the air and traveled, bro. He went there just to do exercise, bro. Just to do exercise. <laughs> Imagine flying <laughs> all the way to Atlanta from New York just to run. Exercise at the A, bro. Exercise at the, in the just A. Bro. ridiculous. So he could have gone to LA Fitness and did what he did. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. You waste the time, bro. And it's it, that's what you get, bro. Nigga thought he was somebody, proved he was actually I mean, nobody. He, he talking trash, but you can't talk trash and do that. Like, come exactly. on, exactly. You can't talk and not be able to back it up. But, um, that's... uh, shout out to the Hawks, though. Let me say this because, like, you know, I used to doubt Trey. Get Trey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, hey, get, get on your you knees and apologize. Get on your knees and apologize, fool. Okay, I'm not doing that, but uh, <laughs> I I apologize to Trey Young already. You know, he's doing good. Happy for him, and uh, actually, I'm like I'm growing to like him more oh. now that he's demolished the Knicks. Just saying. <laughs> but, uh, cool. All right, cool. now on to the next series. This series, I'm not really that intrigued over, to be honest, but we have to talk about it. The Jazz and the Grizzlies. <laughs> so, Bino, you know, let Bino go since he's the D Mitch hater. I am not a D Mitch hater. I am a Devin Booker mm-hmm. fan. But quickly, first things first. Donovan Mitchell, I'm glad you still came back an inefficient shot chucker. So, mm-hmm. coming off oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Still better than Dimish. I mean, Devok, Devok. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> yes, he is. Bro. The, hey, the if difference. the Suns they're win bu- this look, series, look, look, I will be happy both, because we get to see Jazz shooting, and Suns, if possibly. They're both shooting 40% from the field, and one of them is constantly getting double teamed. The other one is just chucking shots at the rim. And one of them's coming That's, off ankle injury. I don't care. That has <laughs> nothing to do with bro. bro. I don't care. That has nothing to do with the bad shot back, he's taking, bro. bro. No, I don't care, bro. Dimash is Yo, probably going to put up 40 tonight. Change, that does not pod. change who you are, That's bro. What I'm you guys, funny. Bro. Dimash is going to drop like 40 today, bro. 
I'm telling you. Bro, no, bro. That does, it does not change who you are, bro. Donovan Mitchell is an inefficient shot chucker, and you guys can't tell me that a deep book fan else. is saying now, in this? now, I will say. I'm saying, bro. Say, you're, a Don, you're a Devin Booker fan, bro. Come on, man. Stop it. I will say that he does shooter. step it up in the playoffs, but he's looking like regular season D. Mitch right now. And what does that mean? The last good thing. What That's a that? good thing, bro. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> As an inefficient, well, not this season actually. The number one option on, my, on the best trash. team in the league. Come on now, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good player. Know, in my opinion. I didn't know we were talking about Mike Conley. I, I, I think that's <laughs> <a nice. laughs> uh, 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 Either way, bro, the Grizzlies are selling my bag because they what? should be a two-one right now. Yo, they are selling. They are selling. Even though the this series is the isn't best over, we will ever see John Moran play ever in <laughs> this, this and they're selling his performances because Jared Jackson Jr. is always fucking fouling. He's he Jared Jackson Jr. You are never going to make a layup on Rudy Gobert. Please stop trying. No, oh no, no, no. God, I, don't, I, I don't I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't don't say that. And here's the reason why, right? First off, bro, Rudy what? Gobert owns this man, bro. I don't care, bro. <laughs> Yo, you want, you I mean, want. We knew that was gonna happen. Bro. You, gotta, you gotta continue to tie Gobert because this is the thing. You want him in foul trouble. You want him out. And like, if, if you, Any, keep, oh, anyone, with, keep, anyone but Jaren, dog. <laughs> Jaren is too small for that. That's bro, bro. I'm sorry. Jaren just goes up. He goes up soft as hell. Like you know, Valanciunas, yeah. like, he could draw a foul. Jock could draw a foul. Dylan Brooks could draw a foul. But Jaren, bro, young, I'm pretty but sure Jaren got to put on weight, bro. And he's Rudy, Gobert, Rudy Gobert had like four or five blocks, and I think like three of them bitches were on Jaren. No cap. <laughs> 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 and it's like, bro, I was like, man, no cap, them blocks, them, them, them just fake blocks, because the shit that Jared Jackson was going up with, like, anybody is blocking that shit, nigga. Like, I'm I sorry. I mean, yeah, go <laughs> is the fraud on defense, so. I know, I'm not going to say all that. But. Oh, man. I, 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 I just want to say I love. I was on Twitter like, yo, Jared Jackson is stat pad and Rudy Gobert is blocks, though. <laughs> the, uh, this series, even though it's technically, it's basically, it's not over, but, like, the fact that Joe thought this would be they're gonna be first round exits, come on, man. That was this. Why do you why did this not wild. over, bro? I'm I'm I thought they were gonna be first round exits. Exits. You, exits. you guys oh, you guys open your mouth. <laughs> Steph was gonna send and send them niggas home, bro. Oh yeah. So I'm telling you, guys, you, you want you wanna know why, bro? Look, look, this is how it's gonna go. They would if Jonathan Mitchell still totally, doesn't play in game one. Steph's gonna blow the niggas out. Well, no, they're not exactly. blowing them in the guy. Steph's gonna blowing fuck them up. Fuck them up. He's fuck them up. up. Game one, I, they're gonna steal home court advantage. I would have like advantage. Jazz and six if the Warriors made it. So wait, what do you have? Right? Jazz what, what, was you, what was you guys' predictions for last for last last pod? Didn't all y'all guys pick like Jazz and four? Five? I had Jazz and five. Yes. and I might That's be right. <laughs> I'm gonna be right. Oh, no, you're not, That's bro. The, the Grizzlies are going to blow them out tonight. Oh, brother. yeah, right. Oh, brother. Uh, I mean, shout out to Ja, though. He's been amazing. He's been amazing. Game, He's been amazing but... Yo, shout out to Ja, but Ja, please. Ja, please, I beg. But when it's fourth quarter takeover um... time, don't take over for two minutes and then pass the ball, bro. They cannot guard your floater. That shit is unguardable. <laughs> Rudy Gobert has to step up. And if he sets up, you pass the ball. Like, oh, my gosh. That's, that's it. it was so frustrating to watch that fourth quarter because the Grizzlies should have won the game last night. Donovan Mitchell handed them the fucking game, and then they sold that shit. Their offense, their <laughs> offense went to shit. And Dylan Brooks, oh my god, that nigga doesn't know how to stop fouling. You're, you're evil Danny Green, bro. Evil Danny. <laughs> that man just doesn't. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Fouling, I heard evil Danny Green. I just can't unsee I can't, it. I, I, I can't unsee it, it either, dog. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see? They were trying to make. Uh, they were trying to criticize uh, Dylan Brooks for like. <laughs> they, they thought they were punching Mike, Mike Conley. Yo, I seen that shit. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, yeah. That was It was just like fake. The um, on the internet, bro. It was just like a fake um <laughs> cut, you know. So yeah, I don't know why they were forcing that. They oh, forced yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. niggas are the worst fans on the internet. They said, "Yo, you see this, bro? This is why we called them half breed guys. <laughs> this is why." <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah this crazy. right here is why his family deserves to be lynched. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yo, yo, uh, that, yeah, that's what jazz fans would be saying, bro. I'm telling you, man. Nah, you know jazz fans, bro. 
They're going to bring out the crosses, bro. Now they're going to bring out the crosses. I don't know if I should cut this out. I don't care, actually. But... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of want to talk about the Nets and Celtics now. because <laughs> We'll get to it. We'll get to it. About... Is, that, is that the next one? No, that's like the second last. So now, Nuggets and Trailblazers. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before, before we end this one, I just want to say... Shout out to my man Rudy Gobert. He's been dominating this series, bro. He is, oh boy, he's been really good. No one wants to talk about it though, because you know everybody. Bro, has, like, it's easy to teams. be good when Valanciunas gets a foul trouble like three <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah. bro. No, no. no. stop fouling. Stop fouling Rudy Gobert. Stop fouling Rudy Gobert. Bro, and then bro, he, can, I'm not gonna he lie, can't guard Gobert. Rudy, he can't guard Rudy Gobert. Is easily getting the easiest buckets in the entire playoffs right now, bro. Mike Conley is feeding this man on a silver platter, nigga. He he is getting that Marcin. He is getting that Marcin Gortat treatment from John Wall, nigga. That that's the type of buckets he is getting, bro. I'm not discredit. I'm not discrediting him. Shout out Mike Conley for giving your big man the ball in the right spots. I don't think Donovan Mitchell could ever. Now let me chill. Oh, bro, <laughs> uh, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. The disrespect. Bro, it, bro, shout bro, out, shout out at, Mike Conley. Mike Conley be hitting time. Mike Conley was hitting timely shots until Donovan Mitchell took over yeah, the man. fourth. And I will give Donovan Mitchell for taking over the fourth quarter. After selling half the fourth quarter, just got thrown out out there too. But uh, <laughs> and uh, who, who, what, who's the who's the fucking Grizzlies coach again? His name like Jenkins. Yeah, you nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? All right, <laughs> this man's a Grizzlies you, you supporter. You are selling. You are selling my bag, bro. You don't understand. I'm gonna violate the Jazz so bad. <laughs> You know, I just hate you. Rudy Gobert, I hate him. Hate bro, you, let me find it's out. hilarious. It's hilarious because let me find out. The Don Suns Don are more likely to be first round assets than the Grizzlies. It's actually hilarious. Uh, that's not true. That's it not is true. true. It is true. It's not true. It's it not is true. true. It is kind of true, they, bro. When the Grizzlies, I don't, also, I don't remember Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert facing tonight. LeBron James in the first round. So yeah, they're facing someone better. Who? Grayson Allen. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Grayson Allen with a straight face. Bro, I swear to God, I thought Grayson Allen was going to win me the game, bro. That, man, that nigga, he drove he drove in a really good bear. He did two plus threes. I was like, this is our chance. And then the offense went to shit, bro. <laughs> but it's all right, bro. All We're right. Happy. We're all right. against the last now, team. Now we're talking about the Nuggets and Trey Blazers. So, what's your thoughts on this series tied to two? I thought this would be uh, over quick, uh, uh, more quickly, but. Let's, nah, uh, man. I'm gonna let Jason go first. He's the Nuggets fan, I'm, all right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm honestly like, I'm not that surprised. I, I said it was gonna be six game series, but I'm not really that surprised because a. I thought bro, you said five. I, I, I said I, five. I said five. I had, I, had, I had Nuggets in six, but uh, what's it called? Um, honestly, like Daniel Lillard, the Nuggets do struggle to guard quick guards, right? Quick, quick explosive guards. This isn't a surprise. All of Dame played really bad last game, shooting wise. Um, Nuggets do struggle to guard guards like that. You know, Jokic has to be better defensively, it's, it, it, especially the recent game. The, the, the last games before he wasn't that bad, but re, then the recent game, bro, game four, he was atrocious. MPJ disappeared. Like you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It just can't happen. Um, this series basically, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> It's funny because if you look at it, the Blazers realized, bro, our our earlier scheme wasn't working because, like, they basically said we're just going to let Jokic become a scorer. Like, he didn't average 26 points on, like, one of the most efficient shooting splits in the league. But, like, they said, let me just let him be as with scoring, basically. And it, it was, like, not working. And so, basically, they had they had no idea what to do. But, um, the series, uh, it's it a... It's it's gonna be an exciting series. People are asleep on this. People like, I hear people aren't paying attention much to it, but it's gonna be crazy. You know what I mean? Like, Damian Lillard, outside of last game, he's been explosive. Carmelo Anthony has showed up a bit. You know what I mean? Um, also, like, the Blazers took Ennis Cantor out. He's out the rotation now because of how bad he was defensively. Uh, Terry Stotts. Yeah, like. Yeah, like, yeah. And shout out to Terry Stotts, but he had to. 
Yeah, bro. Like in Nurk, yo, Nurk. As as much as he's been getting a foul trouble, bro, he's actually been really good. And he's showing, and he's showing that the Blazers don't need to make Dame dominate the ball in order to win games. You know what I mean? Nurk is playmaking himself. Yeah, he is. And also, bro, my last thing I had to say, Nuggets players outside of Jokic are going to have to make shots. No matter what J. Mike said it in an interview, basically he was like, Jokic, he's human. He's going to have an off night. You know what I mean? And it's up to us to step up. See, Damian Wood had an off night. He shot one for ten. And they were able to win the game because everyone else, like Norm Powell, the dude that always killed my favorite teams, like CJ, Nurk, uh, everybody else from the Blazers basically was able to step up. And the Nuggets, we're going to need that from other players. So that's basically it. MPJ can't have three points. You can't be a second option and have three points. I don't care what anybody says. Only taking three shots, unacceptable. I'd rather you go 0 for 20 than 1 for 3. That's all I'm saying, bro. But, yeah, that's all I have to say about that series. I still got Nuggets at 6. Easy win. I'm not worried. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, um, I agree. I think the Nuggets are going to win this series. I just think they had a really, really rough game four. Hopefully things come together for the rest of the series. Dame's really, really rough. Though. They were they were down by damn near 40. Yeah, it was a really – Game four, game three. Game four, it was game four. Nah, it was game, it was game four. four. Nah, I'm not going to lie. Norman, Norman Powell took over the game and it was over. No, yes. okay. <laughs> Norman, Norman, Norman Powell, I heard he though. missed like one shot in the first half. Yeah, yeah, was, he, like that, that man, That man was on demon time, bro. See, yeah. because the Nuggets are playing the, the forbidden defense. The Nuggets are playing the forbidden defense. They were leaving him open in the corner the entire time, bro. And I'm just like, yo, like, why? You know? It's just really unstoppable. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this series. This series is good, um, but it's just kind of one of those series that I know what the outcome is going to be. And e- either way, like, n- none of these teams are – I hate to say it. Not trying to be mean, but these neither of these teams have a chance to win championships, you know. So, it's yeah, just, you know so you tell me. I, you I think, that, I think the Blazers don't. Game. The Nuggets. I think they. The the Nuggets, I think they, they did have a chance. The Nuggets for, did, but Jamal Murray's injury, I think. Just, you know, you know, even if Jamal's out, right? They still can beat. They still can beat the Suns, right? Because the Suns don't have their issue of a quick guard, right? You know, Devin Booker's not. I don't know if they could beat the Suns. Oh, he's not a quick guard that you have to worry about, right? Yes, they still can. Right? Yeah, but he's tough. Tough. For, so what? Put Aaron Gordon on him and see how he see how he does. Put who? Man, Gordon, yeah. Yeah, he does. I saw Kobe fade, nigga. Are like, you serious? Yeah, okay, Kobe okay. Fade. And, and he's shooting all for twenty that game, bro. Kobe serious. fade bucket, nigga. But but seriously, after that, then right? If if, if they play the Clippers, let's say Clippers did that, they play the Clippers. Like they had, they literally own real estate in the Clippers' head, bro. Literally, bro. Even without Jamal Murray, they still own the real estate in the Clippers' head. So, yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, Clippers, my nigga, I guess believe that, yeah. My nigga, was, my nigga, yeah. my nigga, Zubak, my nigga, Zubak is getting fried, bro. <laughs> he's, no, that's my he's, he's gonna get, yeah, he he he, he finna be, he gonna foul out in like the first half. And Serge Ibaka not even healthy. He finna, he finna, his stiff ass not gonna be able to do shit. So, I have a question. If Jokic, if Jokic were to get to the finals this year, like let's say the Nuggets get to the finals, top Jokic three would automatically be a top like what? Five. No, probably Jokic is easily top four. five. No, no, no. no I'm talking top. about. I think all time he'd oh, be top five already. I think he'd already For be top the finals. MVP he, he, in the he, finals. He, he, I don't know. MVP, I don't, I don't know, know, man. If you look I at his resume, if you look at Jokic's resume, I just oh, look, he had, look, he, easy, no, he but... has, look, he has good stats. He has good regular season stats, good playoff stats. I don't and really he'd, have a, he'd, he'd have a finals, he'd have a finals run and an MVP. And then if he were to win, he'd for sure be top 50 at that point. Yeah, no, bro. if he wins the championship, I agree. But just going to the finals, I mean, like. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I got to be consistent, bro. I'm not going to congratulate some people for finals runs. Yeah, loss. I'm. I'm sorry, I love Jokic. No, no, nah, nah. okay, but, but okay, but you also got to think of great playoff run. Bro. But come on, I'm, I'm just saying, Allen Iverson's. I'm not gonna say his career, but a good no, portion. His career, of his career, his career, bro, his career. I was gonna yeah, say yeah. a good portion of his legacy is literally him getting to the finals. And the Lakers. I mean, his main highlight is him like 
winning one game against the Lakers. <laughs> I'm but, just saying, yeah. like, when people praise that f- playoff run, bro. People nah, but I guess you have to you have to give it context just because it's the fucking Lakers, dog. <laughs> so... I it's kind of yeah, like, yeah, like Kobe and Shaq. It's, the like, Nuggets, it's like it's like if the Nuggets were to lose to like the Nets, you'd be like, it's I the think the only Nets, reason bro. that we lose that is because nobody else beat them that playoffs. Like literally, yep. the Spurs went there. Tim Duncan couldn't get a game. I think they swept Chris Webber and the Kings, and the only team to get a game was the MVP Allen Iverson. So in that yep. game, he went crazy. Like literally, just went ballistic on the niggas. So you know, it's a it's a it's pretty uh impressive thing yeah. and the, well, you know, I don't know what all of Philly fighting. was rocking yo, yo 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 yep. Iverson without game one bro I don't know what he'd be bro. I don't know what he'd be without game one he wouldn't be higher than Russ but apparently he is so oh brother here we go it's alright man Westbrook Westbrook gonna ride the bench um, to a championship well, speaking of Westbrook that leads into the next back, you know. that leads yeah. to- this leads to the next topic speaking of Westbrook Wizards and Sixers. Let's just get this one. Let's just do this one quickly. Let Bino go first. Like the Sixers are doing right now, you know? So. Hey, man, shout out Joel Embiid. I, 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 I hope he bullies Daniel Gafford into being a good defender next season, bro. <laughs> because this man jumps on every Joel Embiid pump fake I have ever seen in my life. If the man pump fakes at the three-point line, we want him to shoot that. I'm sorry, bro. I would rather have Joel Embiid settle for threes. And this man is pump faking. He hit this man with a one-handed pump fake, dog. At the three-point like line. Jordan. Like Jordan, yo. <laughs> yo, like, exactly. Like, it's Kobe or Jordan on the three-point line, man. Oh, the series nah, but I don't, I don't have anything to really say, bro. It's Westbrook, and even when Westbrook's not playing well, it's just Bradley Beal, and Bradley Beal is just like he's just gonna, he's just gonna put shots up, man. He's gonna say, "Fuck it," you know. I'm gonna get my shots up, you know. Ben, honestly, Ben Simmons is on him, but I really don't even think Bradley Beal sees that nigga. <laughs> no cap, like Bradley Beal is still attacking him. He's not trying to get different mismatches. Um, so shout out Bill for doing this thing, but you know we all knew this shit was gonna be over. I was just hoping they could take one game because I didn't want to see Westbrook get swept. So you know, hopefully they win tonight. But you know, other than that, nigga, fuck everybody else on the team. Rui, you suck. Um, Berton, retire. Oh, please retire. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's go to all different team and become like the best shooter in the NBA. Bro, I, I promise. I seen that shit. I, I literally seen that shit. The series isn't officially over, but I kind of hope it just it's over. over. I it's ho- over, man. Officially, officially, it's not officially yeah, over, but I just, I, I just hope it ends tonight. Because one, I out of all the series, this was the one I was least interested about because I knew this would be like a fucking sweep, and it was just all of them were gonna be blowouts. I didn't really think all the, any of the games were gonna be close. And game game one, game one was their only chance, and they folded. They, they lost, yo. Losing, losing. I, the Wizards did all this. Yeah, just that's to get not, I was gonna say that the the Wizards. Like I said, I, I out of any NBA team right now, I hate the direction the most because they they were early in the season they were like a hello. They like, like, hold on the cat the Cavs fan question mark. Yeah, a better direction. Trading, than the trading, Wizards. trading, trading. Colin Sexton question mark. That's fake news, bro. Come on, man. Oh yeah, all right. Bro. It is fake. Nothing, news. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing, is fake. nothing is fake. Nothing is fake news. Anyways, nothing is back fake to the news back to the now. main <laughs> back to the topic on hand at hand. Uh, fucking uh, what's it called? I just don't like the direction. Like they had a high lottery pick um early in the season. They could have gotten someone like a generational talent, and they're now in the as the AC just getting swept by like the bet arguably the. Arguably the best team in the league. Yeah, man. Nigga, niggas put out reports of Westbrook talking about, I did not plan to go on vacation. Nigga, you're going two weeks. You're, it's, just, it's just two more weeks, nigga. That's it. You, want, <laughs> you, just, wanted, you just wanted to play. Yeah, you just, you just wanted uh, like 10 more days of basketball. You still going on vacation, my boy. <laughs> man, went into, this man went into overtime, bro. Get out of here with that BS. Come on, this, man. Man, this man really played through all them injuries. To get fucking oh, yeah. swept, <laughs> like that's that just pisses me off, bro. <laughs> what you even you're mad at? Even, it. even you're mad. I at hate it. West. I hate Westbrook so much. <laughs> this man played. This nigga playing through injury. This man's now ankle is have, injured. Like just give up, bro. Now they have no. Y'all now y'all they have no lottery pick. Now, y'all think like, they yep. just tanked? 
Yes. Okay, yes. I said, no, I I said that from the jump, bro. If you want the team, see, I see. Okay, they literally I see it. I see it both ways. Well, not, not okay, this this but... is how I see it. The players aren't gonna want to tank because Bradley Beal doesn't like losing, and you want so the organization is gonna want to keep really your players like happy. I mean, bro, yes, nigga, bro. We know that nigga doesn't like losing, bro. Like, nigga, you see how the nigga be on the bench? Nigga, no, he's he making, yeah, he making faces so he can end up on Blue Shore Report, bro. That's all. That's all, bro. He said, yeah, I want to be. That's his, that's his oh, goal, bro. He wants and people I, to chat I, free him and then be like, yeah, I don't know. I just want to stay and lose. <laughs> exactly. Nobody wants this. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't get it, bro. Like, why do you want to stay? Like, y'all suck. Y'all are not I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm not of my bill because a lot of stars, bro, a lot of stars, I don't make fun of but a lot of stars, they, they pull up, they, they see like one bit of adversity, and they're like, you know what, I'm done. Like, I, I, like, like, I get they that. move out. The man, the the man is 28, bro. They could, st- he's like 20. They could still potentially build something around him. What? Because look, Rui, look, Rui is actually, Rui is good despite what he's doing in the playoffs. And they have, they have a nice little piece in Gafford. And then, I mean, that's pretty much it. But. <laughs> Like, cause oh, I, I'm not even. Uh, no, no, nope, nope, I know you're gonna say that. He he's not an NBA player. All right, <laughs> I knew oh, he was gonna man. say that. So like y'all have given up on Denny. I have. I well, I, I never believed in him in the first place. Yo, he's a project, bro. How are you bro, gonna? I, no, I'm sorry. Once once I, once I seen how stiff that man was. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> yo, there's <laughs> stiff <laughs> NBA <laughs> players are not good unless your name is Carly Towns, bro. Yo, I'm the only I'm, one. Carly Towns and Lamarcus Gobert? Aldridge. Gobert, bro. Lamarcus Aldridge. All right, he's seven Lamarcus three. Aldridge, right, he's, but now I'm talking about offense, bro. You Lamarcus Aldridge, or Lamarcus Aldridge. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, unless you're Lamarcus Aldridge and Cat, that's what I said. Boy, yo, we got the <laughs> stiffest back in the planet, maybe. That Kobe thing. <laughs> <laughs> but like, nah, bro. But like, he, he, he's something solid. You know what I mean? He's a project, and he could definitely get a lot better. You know what I mean? That's why, Danny, I didn't want to see him on the Wizards because you know, like, I already know. No, no offense at all to Westbrook, but like, when you're on the team with Westbrook, bro, like, unless you're like an off ball dude, you won't really develop. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Unless you're an off ball dude, you won't really develop. You have to. You you have. You have to be a what's it called? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so Rui, Rui is developing real nice, right? But because of Westbrook, I will say because when when Beal is not on the court, Westbrook is damn near force feeding that nigga, right? And getting Rui in spots to be successful. Denny, when he was playing, bro. The man is scared of the basketball, bro. I do, bro, and then and then Gobel's gonna talk about. Are you sure he's not just scared of Westbrook? No, bro. The man is scared to touch the basketball. I swear to God, bro. Hey, hey, bro <laughs> man, why you gotta get on Denny like that? That man is a rookie, bro. Did, did you see, did you see no, rookie because no, because no, because this nigga just said that niggas it's hard for did niggas to develop Rookie's around Rookie's Westbrook. Rookie. I know you watch Ricky Sabonis. But it Rookie is Sabonis. hard for young players to develop around stars, though. A lot of young players. Ricky Sabonis was scared of Russell Westbrook. Yes, he was. My God, bro. You think he, Danny is scared he of was, Russ? He was. Asked, he was. Asked, he was. Asked every NBA fan. He was. So you think Danny's scared of Russ? I don't. Well, by the way, I just I don't. By the way, I just think I just think that he's a rookie. Like that's just what it is. Like you know, he's a rookie that got thrown well, into the starting, ro- okay. starting well, lineup and had the, expectations. Why don't you want to give him time? Why don't you want to give him time? Nah, nigga, you know, trade that nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't brother. we don't got time, nigga. But why is it? Why is <laughs> as, it long, why as long why as long as Westbrook look, as bro. long as Westbrook. No, I want that. But I, as long as Westbrook, nigga. First of all, don't trade him. We don't want that shit. Free me. Buy me out. <laughs> Free me, <laughs> buy me out, nigga. Nah, that's bro. That's that's that. Then we gonna that's sign that. to the when we gonna sign to the Nets on the minimum, man. All right, look, look. let's talk about let's talk about the Sixers a bit more though. I, I, I want to talk yeah. about the Sixers, bro. There's nothing to talk about the Sixers, bro. They're doing exactly what they should be doing. I mean, yeah, Dominating but like, <laughs> shout out, shout out, Ben Simmons playing defense. Matisse Thybulle is a menace. Seth Curry it can shoot the ball. Danny Green is actually showing up in the playoffs. Joel Embiid is MVP candidate. Next topic. No, no, no! Wait, wait, bro! We're talking to you, bro. bro. He's been dominating. Twenty nine points in twenty eight minutes, yo. 
He's been killing it. He's shooting 67% of the field and 57% of the three. Like, nobody on that team can guard him. It's like he's playing the shoot-around, basically. And, and, and it's crazy because, like, he's that good. You know what I mean? That six is a and, series, if it happens, is going to be so much fun to watch, actually. That team is going to be fun, but you know what also is going to be fun, bro? The Sixers-Hawks series. That series is going to be a I mean, fun what the next pull, I mean, the... The Knicks come back. Bro, no, they're not, bro. Yeah, they're what not, if, bro. The Knicks, are, the Knicks are trash, what Darius. Is, what is, bro? What is? What is? <laughs> I mean, hey, what it's possible. Are trash. The series the is Knicks not over. The Knicks are trash. It's the over, bro. Oh, man, I don't know. If the Hawks lose this series, if the Hawks lose this series, I will personally pull up right after game seven and beat up Trey Young myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit on Trey Young, basically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, let's even touch on that for a split second. Um, the the fans? fans, bro. These Y'all fans are, are fucking tweaking, bro. What's I'm going tweaking. on? I mean, we could get into that with the, the Celtics series next. So, yeah. oh, is that next? Is that yeah, next? That is the next uh, topic. So. All right, bet. Let's just talk about that right now, man. So, All right. fans. Oh, yeah, you can say it there. You so, can introduce for, So, oh, no. Nets Celtics. Brooklyn's leading 3-1. Uh, I was surprised they actually got a game, to be honest. I don't know much y'all. Wait, I thought you said you had the Nets, Nets in six. Or were you just trolling last week? No, I was trolling. I was trolling. Okay. I, was trolling. So, I, think, I think everyone here had him in a sweep. First off, I had him in four. That was Bino. Wait, you did? That was Bino. Bino had him? Bino, Bino. Absolutely. There was there was no way I was giving the Celtics two games. Bro. Yo, that was not me, dog. Yo, yo, I, yo, I, I'm not the You got to look back at the film, bro. If, if I said nah, something was, six, it wasn't me, man. If I said something six, I'm sorry, bro. But Christ, yeah, there's there's no way I picked this. I think I think everyone games. here had them in a Nets and four. I I that oh, did man. so. Like yo, Jesus Christ, Tatum bro. been amazing. Uh, <laughs> Katie's been <laughs> fucking amazing. Harden's been great. Um, but about the fan shit. Uh, so recently, if some of you don't know, uh, last night Kyrie played in Boston for the second time in the in these playoffs. Um, and uh, he uh, rubbed his shoe. He uh, what was it? He like he, he like, was on the logo. His, he like, stomped on the logo. Yeah, stomped on the slapped. logo. Like. He was kind of showing disrespect to the Celtics organization a bit. I, I guess that's the way he does it. And then um, right after the game was finished, uh, a, f- a Boston Celtics fan threw a water bottle at Kyrie Irving and apparently hit him. And then... Uh, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't miss. Oh, I missed. I heard I'm not even going to lie. When you when you look at the footage, he threw that shit from pretty far and got pretty close. So God, yeah, he almost <laughs> got him, though. That yeah, nigga, that nigga got shoot better than Ben Simmons. As of right now, the fan was arrested, and actually, uh, I'm seeing reports right now. Uh, he uh, he's actually it's a felony charge. Is facing a felony charge. That's wild as hell. I'm not gonna lie. That's wild as hell. And could end up ten years in prison if convicted. Yo, mm. I'm not even gonna lie. That man's whole life, because he's in he's in college, right? That man is in college. So, that nigga's so whole funny life thing, is funny thing. Over. I was I was just on he Twitter. He threw a water bottle. I, I was just on Twitter. <laughs> he's actually in the same college as uh, B Souls is in, which is crazy. What? For real? Yes. Wow. Dude. Wow. That's that's so. That's that's cool. that's right. he's, in Rhode, he's from Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that's that's kind of crazy, right? That's crazy as fuck. But yeah, and it's like he's like. A twenty-one year old, twenty-two year old. So, hit yeah. His life is uh, he's gonna like never gonna be at a, a NBA game again. Probably never gonna be in. A yeah, he's banned game. for life. He's been, at least from okay, Boston. I'll, at least from Boston. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this real quick. Okay, okay, yo. I think what he did was wrong, right? Like he shouldn't. He he shouldn't have thrown the water well. But he didn't hit him, and like I, I don't think he, he should have his whole like life ruined because of that. You know what I mean? Like, I, mm. like I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's wrong, but I, I don't think I don't think that should, it, it, if I had a punishment, bro, what I do is this, bro. I mean, if I was I Kyrie, think, I wouldn't care, but that's me. So that's just me. Yeah, you wouldn't I, care, but like, I was Kyrie, I'd, I'd be annoyed, you know, but I wouldn't want to press charges. I'd just be like, look, bro, like. Ban him, keep it moving. Uh, but 
still, you know, it's fucked up that, you know, somebody did that. I just think, honestly, what they should do is uh, just probably, probably now they're going to have to get, like, some uh, protective thing by the tunnel to yeah, protect facts, bro. I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know what they would do, though, yeah. like, more guards because I remember, and, like, well, like I shields of clear. I don't know. <laughs> like, it seems extreme. <laughs> okay, so the, the Trey the tra- the tra- Young... No, I was gonna say the Trey Young incident. I don't think it will happen that much. Like the spitting on, like from that, that from, could like, have been an accident, honestly. No, no, Dion. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying from like sideline. I don't think st- incidents will happen unless they're like talking crazy shit and a player gets mad. We didn't. We didn't even talk like, about the West incident. Yeah, in terms yeah. of like throwing stuff like in the tunnel. Oh yeah, I think he just put a covering up so the players are safe. Like I know, I know the fans want to see the players come out the tunnel, but when you got when uh, that's what happens, man. One person ruins it for everyone. So yep, that's a fact. But it's just like this, like yo, I'm not gonna lie. If I would, if I could make a punishment, this is what I'd do, bro. I'd be like, okay, bro, you and that fan come in the back, and you guys can fight. Basically, just like, <laughs> yo, what? No, just hand, 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 like, all right, no, hand, bro. Hand, bro. So serious, like, yo, yo if you win, if you win, you get that. free tickets forever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and then give, give him some. It, 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 you, you go from you just, like, getting banned to getting free tickets for life. Yeah, you know, you beat because you beat yo, Kyrie's yo, ass. <laughs> yo, it, 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 it's like hockey, bro. You know what I mean? Like hockey, like. You know how they just get that him. guy. That guy's gonna sit front row and every. The NBA day would never think of doing this, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Like I said, you're like, but, but, like this is the thing. Like you can't go for anything about it. It's a fist fight. Like you know, you can. So what? You know, let's swing. say, let's say, let's say I got, I threw something at LeBron, bro. Oh man. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> you know, thirty years. Yeah, LeBron wouldn't even. LeBron and people be so and people in like undisputed and like first to be like, he's thirty six, bro, still doing this, goat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, your face would be inside out, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, inject the HGH into hey, it. Remember, bro. remember, I think a fan. Remember when a fan ran on the court to try to, uh, I think like try to attack LeBron when he went back to Cleveland or some shit. Like attack. I don't think anybody attacked him. No, but oh, no, I know I know exactly him. what you're talking about. Is it uh he like went out he had a white shirt saying come home? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Something like that. I don't yeah, know. no, I don't that know. was I went to that game actually. I, I was talking about that yesterday with a friend of mine. Uh yeah, that that, that atmosphere is crazy, but no, he didn't attack him. He said he just like went up to him and showed him like his shirt and said it was saying like come home, just come home. And he like yeah. bronze dapped him up. So I want, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I wonder. I wonder if that nigga got banned. <laughs> no, he. Well, here's what happened. Here's what happened. He got banned for the rest of the season, and then like when LeBron resigned with, like when he joined, uh, when he went back to Cleveland, uh, he got unbanned. W. <laughs> w. <laughs> w. Yeah. So hey, maybe wow. maybe he was a part of the reason why he came back. You know, you don't know. So hey, we have to thank I'm you, sure bro. that LeBron still had fans. That supported him after he left. So, uh, yo, they were, yo, I'm gonna say, yo, they were throwing batteries at him, bro, and no, nobody shit got in was trouble. Live. Shit was live. Yeah, I, yo, I don't wanna go. Nah, fuck, fuck that city, man. Fuck the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, like, I'm just that saying shit, that shit was live. But like, like pe- people are getting all like, you know, it's still disrespectful. Like I said, you shouldn't throw things at people. People getting mad at it now, bro. Do you see what was happening back in the day, yo? Yeah, bro. They were throwing batteries at LeBron. That's an actual metal object that could. I I know y'all. Uh, I know y'all. This is a, this is a basketball podcast, but Bottlegate. Y'all know what Bottlegate is? Uh, no. Why? Bottlegate. I think that's what it was called. It was like when Browns fans like they threw like shit at the referees and players because they like they fucked up a call or something. I can't remember. What did, what did this happen? <laughs> Why does Cleveland gotta be like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's called, and they're like, there was like bottles all over the field. Like, you could look it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro, we, we get we get pissed sometimes. All right, so <laughs> y'all yeah, be tweaking, man. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, it's not like this isn't the first time like this has happened. Like this is not something out of the blue. Like we we've seen this type of shit before. It's not crazy to see like these fans throw fucking glasses or bottles or batteries at the players or refs like it's nothing it's nothing new it's like this is what sports has been so 
for me though oh yeah just ban the fan uh like you shouldn't be doing that shit I mean, I would, if I was Kyrie, I personally wouldn't care. But that's just me. I mean, let's be honest. We already know what Boston's about. Uh, they already have yeah, their uh, but... clan fans. Um, uh, just saying. They're probably getting ready to go to their meetings um, to discuss how they're going to attack the next uh, victim. <laughs> Boston fans have been going crazy over Kyrie. There was a uh, MLB game. I, yeah. I think it was the Boston Red Sox. They were like, they were playing a yeah, game. Like Kyrie. And they were saying they were chanting "fuck Kyrie, fuck Kyrie." Yeah, bro, because he quit on the city. Oh my goodness! I guess, it. but like, did he not be on the playoffs? Did he not quit on the, t- the no, team? No, he did. He did. I won't deny yeah, it. He did quit, but like, yeah. like, I don't even think he really quit on them, bro. He just had. A no, yeah, he quit on. Them. He quit. No, he quit. He quit on them, bro. <laughs> He quit on them, but he quit on them because it wasn't even about his play. It, he quit on them. More no, so it was because of his play. He said he wanted to stay. He said he wanted to stay. It was a part. Okay, no, that's no. It was part of the reason. It was part of his. It was. It was. It was also Boston media putting everything on him. Okay, exactly, bro. They made him a scapegoat, and then he left. Hey, but this. Hey, that's what he wanted. Yeah, because he quit on them. That's that's what he wanted though. He didn't no, want to go no, 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 They were doing they were doing that shit. They were doing that shit during the season, bro. He did not want to go to Boston, bro. Yo, he quit on them, bro. Bro, he my man, not my man said I understand the man wanted his own team. I understand bro. I understand that um like their own sports media, like Boston, Boston media is terrible. Boston sports media like wasn't appreciating Kyrie, but that's not like I don't I don't care. Like that's not a good excuse for you to like throw the series. Like you, just you should, you just should never throw a series, bro. You should always give it one hundred percent. They, they, of course, of course, you can criticize how he played, but bro, I think they're just more so mad that he left because, like, they made him a scapegoat. Why would I want to stay after you make me? I think, I think, I think, I think they're really mad that their their replacement is just as bad. Yeah, and then they're worse. They're actually worse, and this guy's better off. He's about to actually. Yo, all I'm saying is. That's Yo, what all I'm saying is they're jealous and they, they're mad. They're 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 mad, bro. They made they made the conference finals every time he didn't play. So I mean, oh, but I'm not. Yeah, oh, I'm, brother! Oh, I'm not, are they making it this year? And they're not making that, it this that's, year, bro. That's that's, 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 that's not fair, Google. That's not fair to say. Come on, man. Context, it's true. Context, am I wrong? context. Am I wrong? Context, am I wrong? Context, bro. In my in the East, we didn't expect back then, dog. Yeah, we didn't expect them to, but we still didn't think they were going to beat the Sixers. We still didn't have them. We didn't have them beat them. The Sixers. who who on earth thought they were going to beat the Sixers in five games? They beat them with ease. They embarrassed the Sixers, bro. I have what to. series are you talking about? It's not twenty twenty. The not twenty twenty. I'm talking about last last year and and the year before last year when Kyrie was hurt. When Kyrie was hurt, and he wasn't there. Then after yeah, not this year. Right? This that was five like games. It. I don't not remember that being five games. That was a five game like, series. The, the, yeah, the sixth game it was five game series. Yeah, they beat them in five games. Like, I had know, the Celtics in five. That was that was that was the series where Marco Marco Bellinelli hit the hit the shot that ended up. I, being I don't, two. I, I don't and understand why people came down. were gonna like make that competitive series that they were just injured that year. That, like, no, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about last year, 2020. I'm talking about. He's talking about. He's talking about 2018. 2018, basically when he was hurt, nobody expected him to make a final. Oh, that, final. that, okay, they that year. Ended, they ended up taking LeBron to seven without him, bro. Like, think about that. He comes back and he just give, he just twits on them. Like, I would be I, I okay. Mean, I, I'd be mad. I'd be mad wow. at the Celtics. I'd be serious, bro. I, 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 we trusted him. We traded everything for him, basically, right? Sure, way at 25 and, points and, per game score. Like, just saying, just saying. That's what I mean. You get nothing back out of the trade. And he just quits on you, bro. Like Cavs on the trade. Facts, facts, facts. But anyways, you uh, can't tell me what you're gonna be about that. Come on, now. I, I, I mean, they have rights to be pissed, I guess. But it's just uh, the, if Celtics uh, fans want to be mad at somebody, they need to be mad at their GM, nigga. Yeah, I also agree with that. Danny Ainge is not. So, so it was, it was Dan, I had Dan, I had no idea Danny Ainge. It was Danny Ainge's fault that he. That I mean, he's the reason team. why. He's part of the reason why. No, this team Dan, is shit, it's so. Dan, it's Danny Ainge's fault why this team is dog shit. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Danny Ainge's fault why what right fucking Romeo We're not Langford talking about the particular is, is, particularly the, is the next man up when Jalen Brown gets hurt. It's, it's Danny Ainge's fault. Again. Romeo Jalen Brown gets hurt and Romeo Langford is the next man up, bro. 
Yo, what, what, what a wasted draft pick, bro. What a wasted lottery pick. Yo, Al Horford crazy. walk, Gordon Hayward walk, and Kyrie Irving walk. Bro, nah, I bro, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Jason, I don't like how you're coming at Kyrie, bro. Like, you're acting like Gordon Hayward didn't come back, bro. And Gordon Hayward messed up a lot of that season, too, because they put him in the starting lineup, played terrible. Like, but, on, did he, but, did, but did he quit on the team? Bro, but it wasn't that just That nigga quit on himself. Oh. Yes, no. yes no, bro. Did he quit on the team? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, That's what I mean. Gordon Hayward tried. You know what I mean? He wasn't himself completely cool, right? Okay, but would you have stayed? Dude quit on the dude quit on the team. He just quit on I'm saying you can leave. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you wanted to stay or not. I mean, like you, you have you have to give it one hundred your one hundred percent. Even if you're being slandered. I didn't ask you that, bro. I said would you stay? In, in Boston? Yeah, no. Fine, no like I said, like I said. I mean, probably me. I, if, if I had that bad of a series, I'd probably stay to make up for it. But you know, mm, I don't no, know, bro. I, I, I would have left. You're gonna I stay in left. Boston for four years? Get the fuck, fuck out of here! Fuck no! <laughs> for six years <laughs> of your life? You have a chance to play with Kevin Durant in Brooklyn? I'm out of there. your hometown. Mm-hmm. Out of there. Loser Durant. Oh, brother! You yeah, yeah Loser Durant. That man is fucking up the Celtics. Speaking bro. of Kevin Durant. <laughs> Let's let's. I wanted to talk about this a bit. That so, that man, bro, Kevin Durant is. I I, I was I was talking about this. I was talking, I said this in the group chat. Last, Come back, uh, bro. <laughs> stop. I said the group chat yesterday, bro. I think Kevin Durant, as of right, until further notice, is the best player in the world, in my opinion, as of right bro, now. This, skip, bro. This, skip. This Bayless dude has been trying watched. to tell you, niggas, bro. Yo, this dude has watched Jokic play basketball. In the I don't KD care, bro. Play. I don't care. What? Why? Nah, Why? bro. Kevin Durant is, is bro. Kevin Durant oh, scores so oh, effortlessly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bro, Kevin Durant looked like bro last night. Kevin Durant looked like he woke up, walked in the gym, and decided I'm going to fuck these niggas up. He sat on the. I don't. He sat like on the KD bench like and looked bored, bro. bro. He sat on the bench and looked bored, dog. Yo, I'm not even. I'm not even calling KD trash. I think what he's doing is incredible, right? But who was he playing? This is right, right, he's doing. He true, is going true, true. to do the same exact shit. Yeah, I think. I think it's. Stop gonna, it, I think it's going to slow down stop a bit. It, but he's not. He's still going to be very productive in the. He's playoffs. averaging thirty-five a game. Yo, 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 if, if thirty-five we're talking about the best a game. On the planet, we talking about the best player on the planet. It's currently Jokic. I don't care what you say. By the way, I just want to say. What? What the fuck? I think. I feel like we when we say best player, we're like. I feel like we have to like see some like. Past consistency, like, not even no, because Jokic has been very consistent. It's just like, no, yeah. we need to see more, bro. Who is the best? I, I, yeah, that's right. That's what I, I kind of feel. Who is the best <laughs> basketball player in the NBA right now? It is Kevin Durant and LeBron. I actually fuck it. Nah, if, if LeBron is. I don't even think Le- if we're taking into consideration good. the playoffs too, then you got to throw Luca and Kawhi in that conversation too. Ka- Kawhi, Kawhi, definitely. What would you say? But not Jokic. Jokic, I mean Jokic. Is, if you're gonna throw Kawhi, Jokic. I mean he already beat Kawhi in the playoffs before. Nigga, Jokic I know. Been, I, I, yeah, Jokic, I thought, that's how we was talking about just the season, right? He said he said the best player. In the just right the season, now. yes. So I mean, we're talking about right now. This regular season, Jokic is the best player. Is the best player. Jokic is number one. Jokic I mean, is okay, I'll say this: one. this postseason, uh, though, you could argue Kawhi has been the best player. Just saying. Even even in the L's, mm, nah. even Kawhi, in the L's. Kawhi's been the best Kawhi, player this postseason. Kawhi, he's, he's been Kawhi this postseason. Kawhi's postseason averaging thirty three nine and four. Kawhi's been the best player this postseason so 63% far. Sixty three percent from the field, bro, and forty eight forty eight percent from three. You, you, you know what Jokic is averaging though? I know Jokic's playing. Okay. Jokic, Jokic is averaging thirty. I will say that he's averaging thirty one, eleven and three. Shooting no, nowhere near as, as good as Kawhi, though. So what? Yeah, I have. Uh, Jokic is like shooting fifty-four percent from the field, while Kawhi's shooting like he's literally playing like his goat playoffs. Kawhi, like. bro, Kawhi is starting the games, not even missing until the second half. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the man is on demon time. Bro. I'm not denying that. Kawhi is literally not trying to go home, bro. <laughs> he's not trying to go home at all. Yo, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That I'm not gonna lie. The paint kind of sweet for Kawhi, bro. It's Kawhi put I mean, Porzingis, Kawhi Porzingis put is selling. Is dog. Oh, yo, 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 yo! I guess we get into the next series then, basically. Porzingis is selling, bro. All right, so final series, final series. 
Clippers Mavericks. Now this is probably the most interesting series in the first round because mm, it's over. You're just saying. No, by the way. I don't think it's over. The, these, I don't know. I'm gonna be. The, I might be the only one who's saying it's not over. So, a series know. tied two two. Uh, Mavericks won first two games. Clippers won the two other games. No one was. No one has a, won a home game, which is hilarious to me for some reason. But yeah, that's actually weird. Uh, <laughs> home um home teams are it's like fourteen and fourteen in the whole NBA right now. Home court advantage, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, Clippers got the momentum. They're going back home. Tied 2-2. Uh, Kawhi and PG are like... I, I would say more Dominant. for Kawhi. But Kawhi is putting like his GOAT playoff series. It's n- probably not even close, actually. Ultra efficient. Luka's been fucking amazing. Um, now, I had, I had the Clippers in six originally. But uh, after game two, I changed the Mavericks in six. I'm gonna still go with that as of right now. I think uh, I think Luka Doncic is gonna be that. He's gonna drop fucking forty eventually because he's been having. So, he's been, he had those. He, he had his bad game already. And PG, I mean, he didn't even shoot well last night actually. So he, he just didn't take. He barely took any shots in the second half. First time he was. In he was going off in the team. second quarter, bro. I, he, he, he took four shots in the in the in the second half, and he just like. That's like the trend I've seen the last two games. He hasn't really taken shots in the second half. That, that's an issue, but I mean, they've been I was even, I'm not gonna lie though. When I saw Kawhi uh, dunk on Maxi Kleber, and I saw like the uh, the the picture that people got and everything, I was like, oh no, this might become an iconic like meme if they lose this <laughs> series, bro. No cap. <laughs> it, was, like, it, it was. It was. No, it was after game two. They they put Luca's face. They put Luca Porzingis and uh, <laughs> Tim Hardaway Jr.'s face on Kawhi on uh, Kawhi and his face, and then they put the Clippers logo on Maxi Kleber. Exactly. Because <laughs> Kawhi, you know Kawhi, and the thing is about Kawhi, Kawhi don't really show a lot of emotion like that. We already know that, but the time he shows emotion is the time, like, he's losing, you know? I was like, oh, man, this is going to become a fucking meme if they don't yeah. win this series, bro. But, you know, thankfully they've played well over the last two games. Paul George started off the game last uh, game really good. Second half, he didn't really have to play that well. It was already a blowout. So, um, shout out yeah. to Kawhi. Kawhi was dominant from beginning to end. Um, I mean, they, Luca, I think he's just hurt right now. Yeah, but hurt. missing free throws is unacceptable. Like, I just don't get that. Like, I think he was like 0 5. I have he didn't have no miss idea what's going on with his free throw, bro. Because. This isn't even like Giannis level bad. Like this is like a it's new worst. level. This it's bad. This isn't. This is Shaq level. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get how you could you, you could hit step back threes over seven footers, but you can't make free throws. Like that is that is something that I'll never understand. Like it's unacceptable, like bro. It just doesn't make sense. Like people are gonna and, say he's injured and yeah, he's hurt, but he was he was missing free throws before his injury. You know what I mean? That's no, he, he's never been a great free throw. I, I don't think he's ever shot. No, like but he's never been this bad. bad though. Like in a oh no 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 that's like a fact. when shooting free throws. Like I don't know what's happening. He's just. I think it's a mental thing at this point, bro. Because like he's he been bad. He shot over five from the free throw line that last game. Like yeah, come I was on, just man. About to say, he I didn't make a single free throw in the last game, bro. So Ooh, it's a mental good, thing bro. at this point. That's, that's not good. It's a mental thing, I think. It is what it is. Uh, the Clippers, you know, playoff P. It looks like he's delaying. He's playing well this series. He's playing well. Yeah. Oh, mm. please. He's just delaying the inevitable. Um, <laughs> Yo, bro. No, 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 no. no. This thing Yo. is capping for the podcast, bro. Just <laughs> last night, bro. Just last night, this man dropped a video on his new channel. And you know my boy, my boy, obviously trying to build up his fan base a little, so he not gonna say nothing crazy. But this man, <laughs> this man, this man is captain on the pod right now, bro. It's like, I'm like, not even captain. Like Just that, last bro. night, you was giving this man credit. But one thing he did say last night that annoyed me. He said, he said, Paul George, you know, uh, we don't, we don't want to see because Paul George didn't have the best game yesterday. But literally, his, his, he had like 18 points at halftime. He's got two points in the second half, but the game was already over. He was like, Paul George didn't play the bad. Like, Paul George, made, is, the re- uh, Paul yeah, George they, was the reason they were up 15 points. Yeah, no, I was going to say, PG is like the main reason why they like blew him out. I, I know, I know Paul George played like, well. Well, bro. made it a blow I know he anyway. played well. I was like, Paul oh, George, no. Paul George uh, George hey, I'm not going to lie. That second half, bro, that second half, I don't even think he had a shot attempt until like damn near the fourth quarter, bro. Like, that's how yeah, I was. 
I know, I know. <laughs> he he really was just out there spotting up. I know. It just, it just has moments where like him him and Kawhi kind of take turns taking over, but then Paul Drew, Paul Drews won't get a look for like. A good amount of plays, dog. The only really yeah. bad thing for PG, I guess, this series is him shooting a three. Like, it's not been good. Yeah. yeah. He's been shooting like 80% at the rim. Because, uh, Porzingis. you know, they got, hey, 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 he, he said really, in the really interview, really he said, yo, we got to be more aggressive because the Mavs have no rim protectors. Hey, is it time to move in the offseason? I'd, I'd also like Ooh. to say that Paul Paul George easily has the most ankle breakers this playoffs. It's not even close. Like, I literally think yeah. he has like eight in like three. I can't lie. Games. When when he <laughs> dropped Porzingis, that might have been the best crossover I've seen in a minute, bro. God, he dropped that man he, with a head. Hey, way, Junior Porzingis, yo, he dropped the whole team at least one two. Like <laughs> it makes no sense, man. Jesus Bro, Christ. this man, this man is hitting people with pump fakes and they're falling. He's hitting them with hezzies and they're falling. He's hitting them with jabs and they're <laughs> wobbling. Like, yo, I, I was watching. I was like, yo, PG is. Bro, they cannot guard him. Like, so there was a few plays early on in the game where he gets to the rim and miss, and I was like, bro, oh my god, they can't guard you. I just need you to finish, bro. <laughs> like, yo, this man hit, bro. He hits him with a crossover or like a hezzy, and he's at the rim. Promise you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, like, did you see what he did to Dorian Finkelman, bro? Like, this man lost the ball for a second, got the ball, hit him with a clean, and then heavy cross. Yo, this man Finney, bro, was lost. Yo, <laughs> oh, this man is so smooth, dog. <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ, bro. This is why he's my favorite player. Bro. So y'all I think to, I need to uh, wait, go ahead. Y'all, y'all think, think this series I, is over? Yes, bro. Yeah, Clippers and six, bro. I, do, uh, bro. I don't think it. I, I think the series is over, but I don't think it's uh as decisive as these niggas are making it seem. Okay, bro. It's gonna be eight <laughs> because if, it, if eight, the Mavericks win one, right, fine, because Gobos no because Gobos was saying lie. This series was over after game two. After game two, he's like, yo, the Mavericks nope. it, they were, I are kept, sweeping I him. Kept, I kept the same energy, nigga. I, I, I originally had game. Clippers in six, but I'm going to stay consistent with what I had after game two. I can't trust like, these motherfuckers, bro. The Clippers yeah. are, are <laughs> cursed. They are cursed, bro. Yeah. I've been saying They're this even before. Round even, cursed, even, even before, yes, they can be. Even before the fucking uh, playoffs started, I was saying this for the entire season. Like, this is a team I can never put my trust in ever again. It was kind of the same shit with the Thunder a few years ago. Back when whoa, the Thunder. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did we do to you, bro? <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Every year, every year, I trust y'all to do something, and it just never works out. Tell me one Shame on you. Oh, 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 you're talking about the Westbrook Thunder. I thought you were talking yeah, about the PG Westbrook. Thunder. Yeah, no, those, that's, you know, <laughs> that's the Westbrook PG. slash PG era. Like, I, I low key, I low key blacked out the Westbrook Thunder, bro. So, <laughs> like, it's the same shit. Like, Clippers, I had them as for uh, winning the championship last year. They didn't come out of the second round. And they they have never gone to the conference finals once bro, in their it's entire okay, year. Bro, look, yo, I look after they handle the Grizzlies in six, they're going to sweep. I mean, after they handle the Mavericks in six, they're going to sweep the Grizzlies, and then they're going to beat whoever the comes Grizzlies. out the other side. <laughs> yo, you're a troll, bro. You're a troll. <laughs> you said the Grizzlies like we were just going to let them slide with that. Nah, shit. bro. Oh, bro. Bro, no, y'all don't. I actually, y'all don't you know what? See me. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm, I'm gonna say it. Jazz lose. I'm, I'm gonna say it, bro. I'm gonna say it. If the Clippers win the series, series, and the Jazz, they're gonna beat the fucking Grizzlies. I don't care what you say. Uh huh. The Jazz will win in seven games. Oh. <laughs> All right, bro. And I will say the Clippers are going to win in five games. I need if the Jazz beat the Clippers, Bino. I need an apology. I need an apology, bro. Get on your knees and apologize to me. <laughs> <laughs> A, hey, look, hey, look, if, if I made you apologize to the Knicks and Hawk, then I, I'll apologize to the Jazz. I need an apology. <laughs> well, that's Dude, never gonna happen. Not only that, I, and that's I'm not even talking gonna, about the Jazz because I think happen, the, I'm not even talking about the Jazz because I think the Jazz are frauds, Loki. But you know, I'm talking about the Donovan Mitchell. They're frauds yet. But, they're hey, you know what? You want to know what? You know what? I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> you want to know why I'm gonna? I'm not going to apologize. Because the Suns are going to make it to the Western Conference Finals, oh, right? I, I want the, so know. then, so then, if the Jazz make it there, Donovan—I mean Devin Booker 
will do I all the talking for me. I really want. I really want a Jazz and Sun series, bro. I want it so badly, but it's not gonna yeah, happen. Bro, it's not bro, going to happen. Suns in four, nigga. Yo, yo, yo! They're battling on who's gonna get swept by the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> by the Nets? No, nah, but the Bucks, uh, the Bucks. The Bucks, the Bucks. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you why I think the, the Clippers series is over. Right. First off, the Clippers fix the main problem. Right. You can't do Buck on the floor while Luca's on the floor. Look at that. They, and, and they figured it out. They figured it out, and now they're starting to about the fire. And now that they do that, Mavs literally have no answer for that. They're going to bring Boban, and then Boban is not going to guard the perimeter. So you're basically done. Like, you know what I mean? You're basically hoping the Clippers miss layups and open threes. And it's just like, yeah, it's, 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 they, the Mavs have literally no adjustment for that whatsoever. Like, tell that's, me what that, that's, that's what I was, was going to say. I was waiting for you to finish. I was going to add on to that. The Clippers, the Clippers made adjust. The Clippers had to make adjustments defensively. There's no defensive adjustments the Mavs can make that can stop the Clippers' offense right now. Yo, okay, I have a topic after we're done with this. All right, I want to see. Just keep going, keep going. All right, man. You, go ahead. you can so, already drop it. We've already talked about. It. Yeah, that's pretty much. It. But okay. I, yeah, there's there's nothing the Mavs can do. Like any adjustments the Mavs can make. That stop it, Kawhi and Paul George right now. <laughs> you have to get into the rim, bro. Because they just don't continue to attack Porzingis, bro. They take Porzingis off the floor, bro. You make Zubak playable, which means you have a rim protector. So you lose, you lose either way, bro. You lose either way. So this this topic. So guess who called out Kyrie? I think y'all might have gotten a notification. If bro. I got it, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett called out Kyrie Irving for stepping on Lucky. Ass. And uh, oh. KG was like, "You can't do that." Uh, let's. He had like an Instagram post apparently. Yeah, he was basically, he was basically like, "So no one's gonna say anything about Kyrie stepping on Lucky like that, man." He's like, "You can't do that, man." Uh, he said, "He said that's not cool, or something, something like that." That's what they yeah. call it. Lucky. Yeah, yeah, I really, guess. Yeah. I mean, I was like, like, man, that's fuck that shit. He said he should have he should have spit on the court, nigga. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. <laughs> what y'all gonna do? I mean, I mean, you know, you know, it's about bro. They're gonna, they're gonna, you. they're gonna get their crosses ready, bro. Oh y'all, man! If y'all gonna treat, <laughs> if y'all gonna treat these players like a villains when they play the part, don't have a problem. That's not like when Katie was in Golden State. Bro. When Katie was in Golden State, act like a fucking villain, nigga. Like I like that shit, bro. My nigga Trey Young embraced that shit, bro. And I don't get why Kevin Garnett is in out of all people is gonna and say Kevin yes, Garnett is the bro. biggest. Toxic. He's the most toxic nigga in the league. Exactly. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a story with him and Melo. He's a disrespect like, the player, but not the franchise. That's all I'm saying, bro. He's disrespect the player, not the franchise. We've heard so many stories of Kevin Garnett disrespecting players' family members, bro. Come on, yeah, come I on, think KG bro. Was wild. Oh my god. Like, uh, like, I don't know why KG of all people, you know, had to be the one to say something. But you know, that's that's. You know, right, y'all, y'all, y'all right. be the main ones calling the league soft and shit, bro. Like, yo, I, I like, bro. That's what I said. Like, nigga, if I was an NBA, bro, I would talk so much shit, dog. Let me be Kyrie. I don't know, hey, nigga. Ever since the nigga Kyrie became a Muslim or whatever, he has no. <laughs> <word of God. laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Ever since he became a Muslim or whatever, yo. Oh my god. I don't know what he is. I don't. I don't. I don't want to say the wrong thing. That's what I'm saying over there. I think, I think he is Muslim. I think he is. Muslim. Yo. I swear to God, this bro. Nigga Vino is hilarious, <laughs> bro. Oh. oh, my God. Um. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing this hard, bro. I shouldn't. No, but that ass, though. He shows no emotion, bro. And Kyrie, Kyrie used to hit step back threes and get excited. And, shit. and now he used to step back threes and turn around and be like, he'll dap himself up or some shit, bro. Like, that's boring. Like, nigga, when you, when you hit a three villain. and... In Marcus Smart's face, like, yo, I need you to talk shit, bro. This is what I need. Like, LeBron, like LeBron uh, laughing in Jay Crowder's face and then hitting a spin jelly layup. Like, that's what I need. <laughs> LeBron uh, him stepping on the logo. Him stepping on the logo. He knew he, somebody was going to record that. He did that on purpose, you know, so. Uh, oh, my God. I, like, I like that. I liked it. He might as well have just flicked off the crowd. It reminds take the me of take when, the fine, bro. I, yeah, it reminds, take... <laughs> it reminds me of uh, when T.O. I know this is a different sport, but when Terrell Owens when uh, the Cowboys flag, you know. But girl, I told not you, the flag, bro. not the flag, the star. 
You know, so fact, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I told you. He said he should have went to the center of the court and took a bow. <laughs> That'd be wild. Somebody dude. probably would have thrown something. Not gonna lie. Yo, Kyrie would have. Yo, Kyrie would have been sniped on the spot. Bro, Marcus, Marcus Smart would. <laughs> Marcus Smart, Marcus Smart would have ran and pushed him to try and be cool. Bro, I no swear, Marcus Smart is one of the fakest tough guys, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Mark, Marcus yeah, Smart would have ran, <laughs> ran and pushed Kyrie off the logo. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> wants us to think he's this tough. Marcus Smart's been good at these playoffs, though. That's the that's the one. Yeah, yo, okay, I, I would actually like to like he did that, but like I said, I'm like, I can't lie, bro. Like Marcus Smart, that whole like whole Celtic, yo, big tough guys, bro. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before, before we get continue, since we're on the Celtics topic, quickly, quickly, go Bells. Are you done what? sucking Kemba off, bro? Are you just gonna admit oh, that he's yeah. trash, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro you know, are you, okay? bro, are you, you finally gonna admit that he's an injury-prone trash? All right, bro. At, at one point, I was gonna realize that that's what he is. He's yeah. injury-prone, bro. I, like, you know, I, I, I literally that said this. That is a part of who he is. At the beginning of the season, like mid-season, and if you, you can go back in the podcast and look, I said he's gonna be bad. Everybody's gonna start hating on him, right? He's gonna come back good next off season. The Celtics no, gonna trade him. No, no, it, it, it's gonna happen, bro. I'm telling you, because this is gonna they be need to trade him now. He's he, he's gonna. Why would you trade a player his lowest value? That makes no sense. Because this is why I'm not a GM. And you need to show, bro. You know, you need to show your players. The thing bro, is, like Kemba's not whether really look whether it's last different year or from what he was year, last year. He's exactly, really bro. Whether it's different. last year or this yeah. year. <laughs> What, but this is the thing. Last year, Kemba was playing hurt. He got hurt. Bro, you can't fool these GMs, nigga. They know what Kemba is. A injury prone. When did when did Kemba get hurt? Specifically, what time? Hurt. What time frame? He got, he got like middle of the season last year, and he was out. Hey, like no, no, no. I will say, I will say, yeah. He started he started the season as the best player on the Celtics, and then Jason Tatum took off. Like, 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 he got he got hurt in the middle of the season, basically, and like there was. All right, and so I just was, I just looked at his stats like. He's having at like twenty two January. Game. I'm looking from beginning of from getting this. He had a stretch where he missed a load of games. I'm about to I'm about to look it up. It's like three games. If I don't know. What no, it's more than three. And, 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 and even then, I, like, I don't know. Like. What, nah, bro. Like, like, I don't want to hear that what's, shit. Bro. What time frame are you what, talking what, about? What, 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 I, literally, I literally called it. I literally called it. it yeah, it, it was that three game stretch. It's, okay, it, so we it, want me to go to three games. His knee, his knees basically his, started. It was, no, it, it, not, was not the three game stretch. it was not the three game stretch. It was okay. So basically, like this stretch, if you look, if you look at the nineteen twenty season, if you look like yeah, like. Three games, and he like played a bunch, and then like he started missing like games after that. And then that's when he started getting. That's when he actually like. Yeah, that's when his basically. knees, his knees started to fuck with him. All right, bro. If you're every other game, every other GM in the, the league, game. you know, you know that Kemba's gonna have two years left on his fat ass contract, forty million dollars a year. One, um, he's injury prone. Like I don't care how good he's playing, his contract's still forty million dollars a year, and he's injury prone. So like what well, there's not much to discuss about it. It's like about raising his value. There's not much more to raise about that shit. There is more to raise because he's right oh now. He's my not God. Bro, we all know what Kemba is, bro. The league is be, the league. You cannot fool the league. Him, bro. He wasn't even worth the max contract and now he's not even playing. Bro, bro. It's gonna it's gonna be the Gordon Hayward situation all over again, bro. Oh my gosh. It is, it is. I'm telling you right now. I'm just looking at his uh, previous like his stats, his statistics are not they're like he was, average, the same. He, was, he was I'm looking at it right now. He was averaging 22. He's averaging 22. He's shooting 39 percent from mm-hmm. the and 44 percent from the field. So you're telling me he's you been have... injured ever since 2019? No, he has 100. <laughs> he's injury prone. <laughs> but... <laughs> but like you trade him, you trade him now, right? Are you going to get better? Because a, you're going to get a bunch of bad contracts back on your team. There's, there's no way you're going to get anything of value for Kemba at this moment since they know he's injury pro, right? The teams are going to use that against you. Then once they get Kemba on the team and he starts playing well, right? He's going to start playing really well. You're going to get basically him for a bunch of bad. You're going to kill him. Okay, for okay, all right. You look, even even if look, even if you do the thing where you raise his value, whatever. Basically, what you're telling me is the Celtics are about to waste another season before they actually try to get good. <laughs> I that's, 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 that's really if what. Kimba, that's really if what Kimba I'm is good, if Kimba's good, that team is really good. That's true. I don't care. They're not. They're not winning anything, nigga. So they're wasting another it's, season. It's, it's, yo, they as, can though, make, as long as Kimba is on the team, they they're wasting. Another, you team. want to know why? You want to know why I feel like this, bro? Because they're never going to have depth. That they is why. Get depth. 
They can get depth. They can. From they have, what? They don't they, sign free agents, nigga. They, they, they have. Tristan they have Thompson peaks. is their center. They have peaks. Romeo Langford looks bad, but I promise you, a team will take a hit on him, a, a hit on him for a shooter that no one cares about. Like, bro, it doesn't take that much to get some solid players, bro. I promise you. Then why Chandler doesn't everyone? Luka? Then why doesn't everyone get solid players? Because, hey, bro, some of them they actually don't have assets. The Celtics have assets. Yeah, and and Don, bro, I swear to God, bro, Danny Ainge has refused, assets, has refused to use assets in the past. If nothing. he starts using and, and, assets and, and, on Trevor Ariza me, ass niggas, bro, I swear don't, to God. <laughs> yo, don't, don't you, don't you kill me. It's Danny Ainge's fault. Because Danny Ainge could pick up something. Danny Ainge is probably going to bring back Kenneth Green. He, he had a chance. He had a chance to get Miles Turner. And Doug McDermott and a couple solid other players, right? He had a chance, but he decided not to. That's his fault. That's not you can't blame him. You can't blame him for that, bro. I no, fault. my point is, all right. Yes, he passed on that. My point is, you you should be building the team around Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, right? Yes, and with that, players. you don't need a four. Like, let's be real. Let's be real on how the NBA is is what direction the NBA is going in. And what how teams win championships nowadays. Mm -hmm. And unless you are a top five point guard, you do not need a $40 million contract uh, point guard on your team, bro. You just don't need that shit. Only when you have two when you have two wings, bro. When you have two wings like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, all you need is someone who can get them the ball in the right spots, bro. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Because you talk about his value, you talk about his contract, everything. What at most are they getting for Kimber Walker? Bro, honestly, I don't care. Do That's think? why I say, look, look. Right in now. my opinion, look, look. In my opinion, either way, this season they're not winning shit. Next season they're not winning shit. The season after that, I think, is where their window starts to open up more, because at that point, I think eventually the Nets. I don't know what what the Nets' future is going to be looking like from there. So that'll be the third year. Um, maybe James Harden has resigned because that's James Harden's free agency year. So. We don't know what Katie's gonna do. We don't know what Kyrie's gonna do. So at that point, yeah. that that's that in my opinion is where Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown will both be hitting their primes. That's where you should build a you should go all in with all your assets and build a championship team around them. That in my opinion is your window. So I don't care if you trade Kemba this offseason or next season, but you don't what, need what him on I'm your team. Is, bro. What I'm saying is what will you get for him of value? And look, all I know is the longer you wait, he has two years left on his deal. The longer you wait, the less his value. Like his value, like his value can only raise so much. His value won't raise at all. No, I'm saying he, even he, even if you let him play next season and he gets better, your best bet is trading him at the deadline. And what even is going to be available for you to think this deal is worth you, it? You wait till you, either way, either way, you're you, all right. You know then funny? You know, then, you you're, know, then you're, at that point, you're trading Kemba. You're trading Kemba on a forty million dollar one year contract. What? What do you think? You're not getting a lot for him either way. You know what's hilarious to me, bro? Like the funniest thing ever, bro. You like, <laughs> like Kemba? Lot, yo, Steph Kemba boys in purgatory, Kemba. Yo, yo, no, no, no. Steph Curry gets boxed at one, and everybody's like, bro. His gravity, all oh, this, that. Kemba gets boxed on one and he gets no excuses whatsoever in the playoff. Bro, I don't want to hear that shit, man. Why do you bring up Steph Curry right now, bro? I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying. Just, bro. Don't bring that shit up. Bro. I'm not making excuses for this man, bro. Bro, the, as, as, bro look, they, the Celtics are about to have three players that we all know are not winning the East, taking up all their cap. All right, or four players technically. So the the smart thing to do is take away one of their big contracts. The only option is Kemba Walker. So why are we even discussing this shit? <laughs> like, bro. Like it's it, obvious it, they have to trade Kemba. I don't know why Jason is forcing right now, bro. I understand, the, the, the the smart, understand why. The smart thing to do, bro. You have two it. wings. You get a playmaking point guard on a ten. Smart a ten right to now. Uh, you not maybe not right now. We I understand can't right you want to raise his value. Too low. But yeah. I'm saying, look, Jay Smooth, Jay Smooth said, if you let the next next season ride out, then how high can his value go? Because at that point, you're trading a Kemba Walker that has one year left on his $40 million deal. So it's not like you're going to get a lot from there either way. <laughs> well, I'll say this before we uh, wrap up this episode. But at least Kemba has a nice smile, you know. 
Man, yeah. that nigga stay smiling, dog. <laughs> Always smiling. Like, uh, but uh, is it is there anything you that... want to talk about before we end, wrap it up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Suns and six, Clippers and six, uh, Wizards and seven. Now nah, let me chill. <laughs> what, yo, watch guy, they yeah. come back down three zero. Grizzly, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The six is bro. <laughs> Blow the team up. And they blew a 3 0 lead to the Wizards. Yo, Ben bro. Simmons is definitely gone for sure. No question. I'm not even. It's not even a not debate even. at that No, over. undisputed, bro. Undisputed. <laughs> like. Bro, that, yo, know, I'm not going to lie. I think there's. Relocate the team, dog. No, nah, but that's bad. This, this, this series should end tonight. I have the Jazz and Six Series winning tonight. Yeah, man. Jazz and. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I think the Sixers are going to handle business. I think the Jazz. They're gonna win off, so. so. Oh my God, Grizzlies! I'm sorry. What'd you say? What'd Kimball you say? Walker, Kimball Walker, is good, and they shouldn't trade him right now. So I have to say right now. Kimball um, Walker is ass. Get him off the team. I'm, I'm, did anybody I'm, say I'm, they should trade him right now? Though I don't think anybody did. I, that, that's the Bino saying. That's the Bino saying. No, bro, he, I don't, he said he said like. Late, later. I said it season. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Trading him now. It will trading him now. This offseason and next offseason, there's no difference on his value. You, you, you know, what's crazy, bro. Bino was probably the same person saying trade Gordon Hayward after that one season where he had a, after the season after he broke his ankle. You probably were. No trading yeah. that nigga. He broke his ankle. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you probably said that, and then he had the worst contract better. in the league at that point. <laughs> what the fuck? Him and John Wall. He did, he did the have fuck? the worst. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I mean, and, and, and look after when they race. And no, no, and no I was not. I was not on that train because their point guard was Kyrie Irving, and he's way better than Kimber Walker. <laughs> I, I, like, the fact that people really tried to equate both of those two together at a point in time is ridiculous, bro. I can't believe it. But like, this is the thing, right? Like, you see, like you you see that team, and like I said, I still think they can be good with Kimber. No matter what anybody says, good with Kemba or make it out the East. They've been to the Eastern Conference Finals. We've seen that I, shit already, bro. I, I, I think, Are I they think, making it out? Exactly. The East? You know he's trying to get I, a cop I, out. This, 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 thing, this is the thing. Kemba isn't the problem. Kemba's not the problem. Especially when Kemba's healthy, he's definitely not the problem. He makes the no, team ten no, no, times no. better than they actually. Kemba. Are. The right? reason why Kemba is the problem for me is because yeah. his contract. They I have think no a part of the bench. problem. He's not the problem. That's because I still think they can pick up dudes. The, through other, there, there's other ways they can pick up depth, right? It's not trading Kemba. Trading Kemba, they're not going to pick up any depth because nobody's going to want. Them. I think oh the major God, problem with bro. the Celtics, their front office, their front office is just so incompetent. Yes, yeah, I mean, I, obviously that's their their main problem. But yeah, bro, depending on who, like what team needs a point guard, like let me look at some teams right now, bro. You can get sauce, some solid players. No, for you Kevin won't, Walker, bro. bro. No, you yes, won't. you can. I, at this moment, no, because everybody's. You know what GMs are gonna do? They're like, bro, we're taking back this bad contract. Why do we have to give you anything? That's what they're gonna be like, and you're gonna be like, okay, bro, we'll give you Kemba Walker. And we'll take bro, that. look, even bro, even if you feel like they got football. fleece, if even if you feel like they got fleece, nigga, it's still gonna help the team in the long term, bro. Wow, so, bad bro, contracts back, bro. Either way, bro. My point is, either way, you're not getting anything good for Kemba because if you wait until next off season, he is going to be an expiring contract. You are not getting value for him. Okay, let's say this. Would you rather have a good Kemba Walker, good healthy Kemba Walker, right? Would you rather trade a Kemba Walker with a full offseason to get healthy with two years on his deal or one year on his deal? I'd rather keep him and play it out. Because he, ch- check this out, right? And, that, and, and knowing, and knowing listen, the Celtics, he's going to walk just like Kyrie did, just like Hayward did. Listen, just like listen, 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 listen. First off, they had a chance to trade Hayward, they, sign the trade and they didn't. And they didn't. didn't. And they didn't do that. That's on them, right? That had nothing to do with his injuries or keeping him, right? Because they traded him when he was at his lowest value, bro. They would have been done. It would have been a terrible decision. But could you imagine, like, would you rather have Kemba Walker, fully healthy, averaging 22 points a game on decent efficiency, right? With depth, because you can still get depth. They have pieces. They have assets to get depth, right? Or would you would you rather have a bunch of bad contracts on your team some depth, but no Kemba Walker, and you just, you just, your, your team is just mid. 
Because Kemba, Kemba, I believe Kemba is somebody that can take them to the next level. All right, now look. Based on what we've seen these last two years, what makes you think that they're going to get depth? You're putting too much faith. You're putting too much faith in the front office that has shown you absolutely nothing. So they, they have, they have, they have, pe- they have pieces. I mean, like, my point is, bro. Unless Jason Tatum, I mean, Jason, Tatum, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say unless Jason Tatum takes another step. Jason Tatum's already taken that step. So Jalen Brown's really good, bro. But like, Tristan Thompson is not going to cut it, nigga. Is that so? uh, not in the East? Not in the I mean, East, I think, bro. I, it's I, fact. I, I think Tristan they, I Thompson think they know that they is not going it, to cut it, bro. So what big are they gonna get? It's it's not like they. You don't need a dominant big man. They could. Rob Will is still a guy that that could help them a ton. You know what I mean? Injury prone. Okay, I got. I got you. Rob Rob Will is a guy that can help them. Who else, bro? Like, Rob man, Williams. And that <laughs> man is injury prone. No, no, he's good. No, he's good. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Thunder fan, right? I'm a Thunder fan. And the Thunder, you know, like... We, Y'all we niggas like, better ask for our horse listen, back, nigga. Listen, I'm not even... You, I'm going to take this season, but... Like, um, Ken, Kenneth Williams, Kenny Hustle, right? That dude can, can be picked up as a cheap, as a, as a cheap price. Okay. He's a first rounder, bro. Like, they right. can ask a piece of like that. He's a really good player. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, but have have we seen Danny A do shit like that? No! We no, haven't, that's bro. my point. But, but that's the thing. Just proving further to the point that no matter what they do, the front office will always be the problem here. The front office will always be the problem. It's not Kemba Walker. Because Kemba... Either way, Kemba bro. My, good, look, Kemba be bad. Look, my, two, my two best players are young and are signed long-term, bro. If I have to take a year off to reconstruct the team, and I know the team is still going to be good because my two young players are good. They're not gonna, eat, bro. In my in my mind, if I'm looking at it, I'm Danny Ainge. I know we're not making out the East this year or next year. So I am reconstructing my team as soon as possible. I'm starting. I'm starting that process as soon as possible. Kimba, so Kimba that Walker not next year, but the year after that, that, I want to be a favorite that. to win the championship. Like that's how I see it. That was that is my plan. I'm going to sit down with my two stars, and we're going to have a discussion on how they feel about the future of the franchise. They're going to move on from there. I don't want Marcus Smart in the fucking meeting. I don't care. I don't want Kemba in the meeting. I don't care. Kemba is not good. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Like Kemba Walker trading him at his lowest, getting nothing back. There's like, no highest. You have too much faith. There's going to be a highest. There is going to be a you better too much faith. There's going oh, to be a highest. Has, he has, he no, has, he has he no knees, bro. Players with no knees don't. So okay, okay, okay. I, I think we should uh, move on. Wrap this shit up, bro. Yeah. Let's wrap up this episode. <laughs> wrap this shit up, Kemba, man. Kemba, we all know Kemba sucks, bro. We're going to be back talking about this. Kyler, yeah. Kemba finna be smiling in, smiling in Detroit, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man. Uh, not even gonna see I, don't know. I think Detroit is too generous. I think China is a better place. <laughs> 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 yeah. you guys, but, uh, I can't believe that. Be, that be, be on the Beijing Tigers. Oh, on God, on God, bro. Yo, pack it, package my nigga Kemba out, bro. Get get you a little, yeah, yeah, get you a little, a little year. Jeremy Grant. Get you a little Jeremy Grant, bro. You be straight, dog. Why would the small <laughs> Pistons do that? Like, Why wouldn't they, they, nigga? <laughs> Fuck oh, man, bro. The Pistons are poverty too. <laughs> they're not, bro. They have Troy Weaver now, so they're good. But uh, I think that that concludes that, that this concludes, episode. Yeah. yeah, it does. Uh, if y'all make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all of the major audio platforms. Um, but that concludes this episode. Y'all leave us a nice review. Also, we out. We out. Again, you can say on the outro. Oh, Yo, I like Weezy, yeah, man. We out, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Follow, follow me like on Twitter Weezy, at um at King Beano twenty seven. Yeah, follow me. I be doing I be doing post game voice memo recaps and stuff. And Yo, yeah, by the way, before I, before <laughs> before we cap up, I just want to say, go those those fucking videos that you do on Twitter. There is this one video. He literally did like a thirty minutes like video like a uh, Twitter thing. <laughs> On, like, this man, this man just be ranting, dog. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't know who's. I I, I listen to Gobel's shit sometimes, but I don't know who's gonna wa- listen to Gobel's for 30 minutes on Twitter like that.
I'm be honest. Yo, bro, I promise you, bro. I'm the most entertaining person on the planet, bro. I promise you guys, you should listen to me. I'm well, you're not there's wrong somebody there. out there that's a big fan of Jason Wu, bro. I oh, know Jason what? has fans. I know I've yeah. seen it. Oh, bro, bro. Yeah, this so... man has fans, dog. Yeah, shout out to my fans, bro. Shout out to my fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We out. Uh, yeah. I like Weezy, bro.